Yan. Okay. First of all, uh, good afternoon and thank you so much for being with us today. Ako po si Joanna Artilier of Asian Travel Exchange. Parang ano, ang pula ng chicks ko. Ang puti ng fesla ko. Naglagay ako ng extra pulbus ngayon dahil mamantika. O, ang mga sebo. Bongga. O, I hope that uh, okay lang kayo. Hindi kayo masyadong naiinitan dyan. And okay, um, our topic for today is how to reconnect with your market. So we have, uh, we are uh, here to discuss. Uh, we are open for you to, to share your ideas here. Wala naman tayong speaker. I'm just here to moderate this discussion. And whenever you want something to share or you have any questions, pwede sa chat or pwede din na magsalita. Pero sana may video para mas maganda. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of a lot of uh, familiar faces pero yung iba wala pa rin mga, mga video. Sana mag-share naman ng video para kita natin yung mga reactions. Okay, I will share my screen now. Yeah. Tapos, as we go along, mag admit lang tayo ng mga uh, participants. Nakikita ko naman every time na may pumapasok. So, again, uh, welcome to our fifth topic for discussion. Um, ang outline natin is uh, marketing. Uh, experts reveal how business can survive and thrive during or after the COVID. And then, after this topic, pag na-discuss na natin to, I will be uh, outlining the next batch of topics, the next wave of topics natin. Okay. Um, sige. Let's start. So, um, first of all, um, syempre, kahit na hindi pa tayo mag-open ngayon, it's very important nga for us, like what I always mention, to plan ahead. To plan, plan, plan ahead. Especially kanina, may pinost si Sir Arjun sa, sa group, nabasa nyo ba? yung um, parang forecast ng business. Ma medyo maganda yung, yung forecast in terms of uh, how we can uh, parang ba? how we can position ourselves. May it be sa travel agency business pa rin or kung, sa, kung maglili pala tayo ng ibang business. At least may forecast na medyo uh, maganda kahit papano for us para makapag plan tayo ng mas maganda at makapag-adjust tayo sa business uh, business plans natin. By the way, I would like to introduce first yung ating guest speaker. I hope she can hear me. Tami, can you unmute yourself? Take away. Hello. Hello po. This is Miss Tami Makalintal, baby girl. Hello, everyone. One, one of the owners of Out of the Box uh, Creatives. So, in case, uh, I just want to introduce that uh, they are the, they are the team of Astrex who's doing the campaign, yung online natin, yung social media uh, campaign. If you, di ba, nakikita niya yung videos yung mga campaigns natin na nilo-launch. Sila yung gumagawa na. So, may, sila nagka-copyright, sila nag edit ng video. Except this recording, kasi itong Zoom, wala naman, uh, walang, eh, wala kong editing skills. So, record and and post lang. 
So she will talk about um siya yung ano no baguets pero ka age lang naman natin hindi na lalayo ang age natin. So this oh, 16 lang naman po. <laughs> so, 17 ako bakit? <laughs> pa nga ako nagde-debut eh. <laughs> Birthday ko na nga next week. Chat. Um anyway, so this is a fresh perspective from a uh, baguets uh baguets para ba? Baguets outlook on business kasi mas savvy sila sa technology and I think that um, helpful naman yung magiging inputs. Although, syempre, marami na tayong pinagdaanan na business, pwede na rin natin i-adopt lang or idagdag kung ano man yung mag yes. topic for today. Okay, so first tip, actually, nakita ko tong blog na to or article way back kung papaano. But hindi ko na kinuha yung mga pangalan kasi hindi ko naman sila kilala. So, CTTO na lang. Discuss lang natin ng mabilis. So, um, the first step is to inform your clients of the de decisions taken internally for improvement of service or quality. So, um, yun nga, mas maganda na alam ng, ng captured client natin kung ano yung mga, kung ano yung mga um, upgrade. For example, Sa bawat package na binibenta natin, let's say for example, okay na ulit. So sa bawat package na, ma na mabibili, na may airfare or may, kunyari may domestic flight, meron tayong travel kit na bibigay with mask, with alcohol, or something like that. Na-upgrade dun sa service natin from before. Diba? Or we can uh, give them the the parang the techie side naman na o oh, sige um before you you travel uh, kunyari two days or one day before we would be sending you text or emails reminding you about this 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 and then yun so parang kung ano man yung nakikita natin na extra service na pwede natin ibigay to improve the service quality ng company at maalala din tayo ni client uh it, this is the time to do it Kahit wala pa tayong binibenta or anything, wala pa tayong um, schedules or anything. This is just yung parang, oh hey, ano, client, by the way, if on the, uh, in the future, when we do this, these transactions, this is our new, um, hindi na siya promo, eh. this is our new offering for you. This would be the standard of our company. I think that's a good idea, di ba? So you can, it's self-explanatory, you can read it. May utang pa pala ako sa inyo. Yung slides natin na hindi ko pa nabigay na copy, uh, siguro I will just give it after kasi this is the fifth topic, the, the last topic for our first wave. Yes, meron tayong um, lineup na topic na about sa new normal. Yung iniipon ko na lahat ng mga infographics, lahat ng mga guidelines na pinapalabas ngayon, iniipon ko na and kinokulate ko siya sa isang, ganito, sa isang slide para pwede natin balik-balikan. Or pwede natin i-apply sa magiging future clients natin. Okay. So, malino na to, hindi ko na siya babasahin. You can read naman from, from your uh, screens, no? Yeah? Hindi rin ko kasi mga reactions eh. No mga nasa video. Okay, so uh, move on to the next slide. Okay. Use this opportunity. Wait lang, admit tayo. Use this opportunity to market your business while competition is low. Um, marami sa atin, especially yung mga travel agents na hindi nakaka-attend ng mga webinars, either hindi sila aware or um, hindi hindi nila hindi nila gusto hindi nila gusto yung mga ganitong types or hindi pa sila ready so this is limited to those that are very proactive dun sa mga nag upskill ngayon yung mga nag upgrade ng skills at yung mga umaten ng webinars so and you have your own captured market 
So, pwedeng-pwede nyo sila talaga balikan. Kailangan nyo lang isipin ano ba yung, yung, yung uh, unique selling proposition na pwede kong ibigay sa market ko. Ganon. ganon it's, it's your uh, prerogative kung papaano nyo sasabihin yan. And then, remote efficiency. Utilize online collaboration po. So, pwede kayong um, since may, may Zoom may Zoom accounts naman na kayo since nag-webinar na tayo, you can also do this one-on-one -on -one or with your clients. Diba? You can uh, ask them kahit chikahan lang. This is not a formal um, seminar but chikahan-chikahan kayo. Parang group video call in a room where you can, you can actually share your screen. So, maganda yan. And then, encourage health, both physical and mental. Remind your employees to exercise at home and most online videos. Yan nga. So, kayo na rin. Nag-exercise ba kayo? Si Tami nag-exercise. Nakita ko yung mga workout video. Pinapanood ko lang siya. Nagiging healthy na ako. Ganun ka-powerful yung, yung mga workout mo. Nakikita ko pa lang, inihingal na ako. Ang dami kong na-lose na pounds today because of Tami. Yan. Um, yan. Um, Miss Minda chatted, you can sell your product and experience services online. Let your community know about it. Everyone is looking to support local. Yes. I-grab natin yung opportunity ngayon na very, um, very compassionate, very empathic ang mga tao ngayon to help each other. Diba? So, wag lang, yung me, wag lang tayong maging insensitive. Like, for example, bigla natin isend sa client na, oy, punta ka ng ganito, ito yung presyo, ito yung presyo, ito yung presyo. Let's not hard sell. Let's just do marketing. It's not the time to sell, but it's time to market. We have to know the difference between selling and marketing. Diba? Sige, mamaya, baka matouch din yan ni Miss Tammy. Okay, next slide. Ang jugal ha. Next slide na ako. Ay, ang liit. Sana nababasa niyo. So, the next is out of constraints come creativity. Out of chaos comes growth. Out of fears comes love. And so, please continue your bravery. Dear business owner, freelancer, and solopreneur of all mix. O, di ba? May ano, profound. The last thing is much easier said than accomplished, especially in times like this. Toto naman, dahil we fear for our for our own health, for our own family, for our own business. So, marami tayong worries, marami tayong anxiety. Imagine how will other will other people also feel, di ba? So, nakikita natin ang kagandahan ng 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 situation natin ngayon is na sa pare parehas tayong position. Pantay-pantay tayo ngayon. We are equally feeling everybody else is feeling. Siguro yung iba mas intense, yung iba mas mild. Pero uh, in a sense, nasa, nasa pa, parehas tayong situation. So most likely, alam mo kung anong nararamdaman ng client mo at ng iba mong uh, kasamahan sa industriya or katrabaho or, or employees. Diba? So, this is the time na talagang pwede tayo mag-connect to each other because we know what each other is feeling right now. We can feel each other, kumbaga. Okay? For some business types, that means pivoting to serve in new ways. So pivoting, iyan ang i-discuss mamaya ni Tami uh, on how we can uh, do this. What's pivoting? Kasi sa first topic natin, na-touch na natin yan, Pero, pero uh, very uh, general lang. So, this time we can uh, detail it more with uh, Tami's discussion. Okay, uh, pivoting. For some, it means a time for regrouping and revitalizing assets for the near future. Some it, for some, it means new services or new products. That's very important. Kailangan nag-grow tayo for what's needed and relevant right now and for beyond, okay? Whatever the case for you, the answer is to try your best. And most importantly, to keep moving, okay? So, wag tayo huminto. Wag tayo huminto. Kahit hindi pa natin alam kung ano mangyayari, kung ano, kung ano, ano ang meron bukas sa makalawa, sa May 15, sa June 30, kahit hindi pa natin alam, wag na natin 
um, let's look at the forecast, but let's not uh, ano ba, expect the worst. Hindi na uso yung expect the worst to prepare for it. No. Let's anticipate. Let's not expect. Kasi ang difference ng expectation sa anticipation is expectation connotes some negativity in it. Eh. May ina-expect kang mangyayari. Most likely, mas madalas sa hindi. Ang expectation versus reality, di ba? Negative yung impact niya. Parang may mangyayari hindi maganda. When you expect, you expect, you, you expect to be disappointed. Yan. Yes, Tita Maliza. Marketing now, sales later after COVID. Yan. Okay, so anticipate is something different. Kasi pag sinabi natin anticipate, to look forward, di ba, with, with positivity, more, um, more positive. So, that's the difference. Let's not expect, let's anticipate. Yon. For whatever it, if it makes sense to you. Okay, it's not about merely staying positive, but about moving forward with positive actions. It's now allowing yourself to create with abandon for a better tomorrow if you can't see it now. Yun nga. So that's why we should anticipate kasi hindi pa natin nakikita. Hindi na rin uso yung to see is to believe. To believe is to see. Yun ang bago nating motto dapat. If we believe that this could happen, then it will happen. Law of attraction. Char, char. Okay. Next tip is, one major shift is to communicate with your clients. Ayan yung mga binabanggit uh, nga natin dito sa discussion. Uh, communicate with your clients more often. Yan. Sabi nung, nung uh, speaker nito, I now speak to most of my clients daily. Before this crisis, it was once or twice a month. So, malaki yung impact ng communication this time. This is the right timing, the best time to do. Kahit magkamustahan lang muna kayo. Or share some uh, some quotes or some updates about COVID. Sabay kumusta, sabay bate, malapit na. O nga pala, malapit na ang Mother's Day. So, happy Mother's Day to all. Mamaya may ipa-plug pala ako about Mother's Day after this. Okay. What I have seen in my own business is the different needs of clients. I'm helping more people to communicate via video and webinars, like what we do. That's not something I had been doing two months ago. Tama. This is something that we haven't done that is now the new norm. Diba, diba? And every blog or social media post I do for the COVID-19 crisis is closely scrutinized and checked, oftentimes with changes. Oh, okay. Mm, relevant, post, social media post, hashtag ABS-CBN, medyo, medyo naging controversial yan. Pati nga ako nag-post, hashtag Mema. Dami nag-comment, nalurky ako. Bati tayo, baby girl, about my ABS-CBN posting. Wala yun. It's, ano, opinion naman yun. Open, open, opinion naman. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ako lang masama. Tiyan. Okay. So, every blog is, is, is scrutinized. So, meaning, na pinapansin ng mga tao everything you do. So, we should maximize this opportunity to use it for the future of our own business. Wala mo ng income, wala mo ng selling, but plant the seeds, plant the seeds. Malapit na, malapit na tayong, malapit nang malift yung COVID, ah, COVID, sorry, yung lockdown. Malapit nang magbunga ang ating seeds. So, plant it now na, as soon as possible. Okay? So, ano na to, kwento-kwento na to. Okay, so the point, the point is communicate with those that work for you. If you have staff, if you have freelance workers, communicate with them. Pagplanuhan nyo, ano ba magandang gawin? Ano ba una nating dapat gawin? 
and let them know how you support them also. Or, alamin nyo rin kung be honest kung kaya, kung kaya pa ba, kaya pa ba natin, or give up na ba tayo. Kasi mahirap na, kahit, lalo na kung may staff ka, they would be left hanging. Di ba? By the way, speaking of staff, um, may good news ako for me. Hindi ko lang alam kung kayo rin. Um, nakatanggap ako ng ayuda from SW, SBWS, yung SSS. Na-file nyo ba yung sa inyo? Chat nyo ako. Hindi nyo na-file, pero nag nagbabayad kayo sa SSS. Sige, remind me to give you the link. Pwede pa kasi ngayon eh. Pwede pa ngayon. Naka-receive naka ako. Gusto ko nga i-post, pero i-post ko na lang. Oo, nakatanggap ako, promise. So, it's true. Hindi siya fake news. Meron tayong, ah, uh, sino na tayo? Meron tayong matatanggap talaga na ayuda from SBWS. I-grab natin yan dahil binabayaran natin ng SSS napakatagal ng panahon. Okay? Uh, another, the next tip, tip, Pinoy, the next tip, I filed this morning but our staff don't have bank account as required. Um, pwede mag-pay, Maya. Ka, meron, meron tayong topics on that, kaya lang hindi ko matatouch ngayon. Pero pwede mo pag-applyan sa either Union Bank, Union Pay. Hindi nila kailangan magpunta sa banko. Um, look it up. Union Pay, Paymaya, uh, PayPal. Maraming paraan kung halimbawa yung staff mo walang bank account, online account. Kasi ang Paymaya ay nag, um, pwede mong i-cash out or PayPal, or Union Pay. Please look into that. Ayan o, oh, meron daw DBT or padala, M. Duiler. Importante po yan, that's 8,000 pesos, mga beshi. Hindi natin mapupulot yan. So, it's very important, make an effort to do that kasi nasa probisyon. Oo, oh, oh, importante may... Online, my SSS account ka, hihingiin lang naman yung birthday, tin, um, anong position, ganyan, name, ganyan, ganyan. So, ipapasa lang yan lahat. Nagulat ako, dumating na yung sa akin. Kaya I'm so happy. Papaparty ako. Char. Okay, number, okay, ito, may quick tip siya. Number one is, oh, pag province daw they use, Pera padala. Ayun. So, look into that. Kasi sayang talaga. Sayang. Kasi hindi ako na ano sa DSWD. Hindi sila naniwala sa akin kasi ang tagado ng mukha ko. Hindi daw ako mukhang walang makain. Hindi daw ako poorest of the poor. Baka. Pero okay lang yun kasi may mas nangangailangan. But this one, the SB pwede na o pag pag ano Hindi pa pwede mag-dim. Uh, oo, yan, nawala ako. So, um, yun. So, pwede natin yan. Um, right natin yan na makuha yung SBWS. It's because binabayaran natin monthly ang contribution natin sa SSS. Ang um, difference yan sa amelioration fund is, okay, taxpayer tayo, binabayaran natin amil amil uh, yung, yung tax natin sa government. Pero yung amelioration, mas kailangan yung mga walang benefits. But this this one is your benefit. So, kailangan i-claim mo talaga ng bongga. For staff, naka-receive ng 5K. Ayan, congrats, diba? O. Naka-receive na. Kaya nga, sinasabi ko, it's true. Uh, meron talaga, hindi siya fake news. I'm so happy na naka-receive din ako. Pwede din yan sa employer kung isasama mo yung name mo. Kasi dapat kasama ka rin dun sa nagbabayad. Although employer ka, kasama ka rin dun sa staff. Kasi nagbabayad ka rin eh, on your own, di ba? Hindi naman pwede na, although yung company nagbabayad, pero kasama yung may-ari. 
So, i-declare mo din yung sarili mo. Ano po li yung pangalan ng program? SWBS. Um, later ha, bubuksan ko kasi nakashare yung screen. You can Google if, if you want nakalimutan. Ang haba eh, salary something ng, ng um, SSS. Makikita niyo yan sa Google. Okay, and if may meron kayong account, my.sss, yung online filing ng SSS, nag-e-email yung regions. Pero kung hindi mag-e-mail ang region, kung sinong nakakasakop sa inyo na SSS, doon kayo mag-e-mail or magtanong. Yeah, monthly, oh, yeah, pwede, pwede if um, nagbabayad ka. Okay, so, three quick tips. Accepting, uh, accept things have changed, of course. Number one, na, uh, na, na step for us to adapt, for us to, to thrive in this new normal is to accept that it has, that it has happened. Huwag na nating kalabanin at huwag na nating labanan pa. Wala na tayong control over it. It's, it's just, it's there, and so we have to accept it, and we have to make the best out of it. Yeah. Okay, um, when you were making your business plan at the start of this year, I bet you didn't factor in. Of course, you didn't factor in the pandemic. But since it already happened, you have to accept it, and you have to make the best, maximize it. Use the Pareto principle to your advantage. Namely, find 20% of actions you need to take that will drive 80% of your results. That's the smart approach that you won't tax your resources but will keep your advancing steadily towards your goals. So, i-research na rin yung Pareto principle. Ibig sabihin nito is work smartly. Hindi yung work hard. Kasi yung sobrang nag-work hard na hindi naman nag-work smart, mapapagod lamang. Okay? So, find, find, uh, para ba? Find the thing that would give you the most income, profit, ng mas konting steps o mas konting effort. Okay? Number three is just keep moving. Most businesses and your competitors are going to despair and hope for the storm to pass on. If you just keep moving on, even at a slower rate than you'd like, you will far overtake them by the time the crisis is over. Ayun yung sinasabi ko, we have to have awareness, presence of mind. This is happening. Marami ang hindi nakaka-attend ng mga webinars. We have about 12,000 travel agents sa Pilipinas. Ilan lang tayo sa room. Diba? Ilan lang tayo. Every meeting is less than 100. 70 minsan, 80 minsan. But how about the rest of the 12,000 travel agencies? Nakanga na. Hindi na alam ang gagawin. Or dumipat na ng ibang negosyo. So if you keep on upskilling, learning, and moving, no matter how slow, may results at may results na mapapala. Believe me. Okay, the next tip is to show empathy to others and mention how your brand is helping. If you have a branding campaign, um, i-mention nyo lang how you are contributing to support your clients. Yan. Kung, kung, mer kung kaya mo ang donation drive, kung kaya mo mangalap ng donation for the frontliners or small things like um, bigyan mo ng merienda, yung police sa kanto nyo, something like that. Hindi naman masama na pinupost mo yung mga bagay na magagandang ginagawa mo eh. It's not, it's not bad. It's not something na dapat mahiya ka na, ay, ang kapal ng muka. Nagbigay lang sa polis dyan sa kanto, pinost ka. Merong mga philanthropist na sobrang yaman na hindi na nila kailangan gawin yan at merong 
mga tao na sincerely tumutulong at gusto rin nilang tulungan ng sarili nila. Diba? It's a two-way road. So, kung halimbawa, you want to have a strategy na kunyari makilala yung brand mo as something na, okay, yung travel agent po may ginagawa ngayon, whatever little way that you can help, then why not do it, di ba? And then post about it. It's not, it's not bad. I don't think it's bad. You don't have to feel guilty about posting what you do, lalo na kung maganda at kung nakakatulong. Yeah, be relevant. Okay. So, um, Yeah, so as painful as it as painful as it may feel to watch the sales drop off a cliff, remember that it's only temporary. Yes, temporary lang ito. Starting up a tone deaf marketing campaign too soon could trigger customer backlash, causing an avalanche of social media attacks and negative news cycles. So, ito yung sinasabi ko, na huwag tayong mag-hard sell. Huwag muna tayong mag-post ng mga products na gusto natin i-push ngayon dahil hindi pa siya oras. But we can start connecting and marketing already. Strategize lang tayo. Okay? What can you do? Evaluate your existing marketing campaigns and post anything that might offend your audience. So be sensitive lang about it. Leverage your social pl uh, social platforms and email list to show empathy to others and mention how your brand is helping. Are you donating money for food pantries or providing goods at no cost to charities? But don't blast emails every day and don't leverage the situation for financial gain. So, hindi mo na tayo para kumita. Tumulong and mag maximize ng social media presence. Presence, yun na lang. Um, yung presence mo para lang maging relevant. Okay, invest in a long-term marketing strategy. While your competitors are pulling back, you should create campaigns that could be ready to launch as soon as the time is right. Very, very important issues ito. Yung long-term marketing goals. So just remember, everything you do now should benefit what will happen to your business tomorrow. Everything you do now, all the steps, the actions that you're taking should benefit you and your customers in the positive way when the time is right. Okay? Okay, mga kaburks, hindi ko na, wala lang ako nakikita ang mukha. Yan. Paano ko ba ito ililipat sa? Hindi ko nakikita yung iba eh. Miss Jo, may additional lang akong ano, input doon sa invest in a long term. Actually, first step is to research about your um, siguro step back muna tapos look back kung ano ba yung na left off nyo kung saan kayo na, na um, paano ba, natapos kung saan kayo tumigil. Tapos after nun, siguro um, um, i-place nyo lahat ng mga possibilities na pwede nyo pa magamit during this um, pandemic. Um, and also, um, mag-create ng short-term goal to achieve the, those long-term um, strategy. Kasi yung um, mga short-term, yun kasi yung mas, ano eh, mas madaling i-achieve ngayon rather sa long-term agad. Of course, dapat may long term, pero importante na, importante yung mga small details kasi baka sobrang laki ng ini-imagine natin, sobrang laki ng um, nung gusto nating mangyari, pero it's not possible during this time. Siguro, um, um, one step at a time, yung, yun, invest in a long term, not in short and long term. Don't forget the short term. And also, input lang din doon, balik ka lang, doon regarding sa pagpo-post, being re um, to be re relevant pero not in a way na ipupush mo yung brand mo sa sa position na um, parang pilit wag yes. wag nating pilitin yung ano ma, ka, um, yung um, target market natin kasi or yung publicity natin um, kasi baka pangit ba, pangit din yung kalabasan noon Diba? And also, good publicity and bad publicity is still publicity. Um, for example, yung, yung oh. mga relevant issue ngayon. So, um, okay lang naman yun. Pero, um, again, 
depende yun sa brand mo. So, you have to uh, make a positioning sa market, especially now, um, kung paano ka magiging relevant in a good way. Kasi marami na tayo, ano yun, marami ng negative um negative vibes, especially to social media, kasi yun lang naman yung means natin. Um, siguro, it's it's a good timing for um, this industry na mag-step up since good vibes naman yung mga dinadala, nat dinadala natin sa mga market natin. So, siguro, um, lagay natin yung sa short term, ano ba yung gusto ng, ng target market natin rather sa anong gusto natin kitain. Siguro, i-put muna natin yung um, yung um, ano ba needs ng stakeholders natin rather than sa kikitain natin. So yun yung kanina sinasabi ni Miss Jo na um, plant the seeds now tapos saka na tayo kikita later on. So market good marketing strategy um, the what you call the just positioning sa market. Yan lang. Sige Miss Jo. Tell me yung just <laughs> search nyo. <laughs> Tell me just the positioning na yan. So yeah, sige. Maganda yon, tama yon. And also, we have to for me ha, one of the tips but this this are all opinions by the way. We are not self self-proclaimed experts on anything and I I appreciate that you uh, take your time to listen to us but we are open to discussion. Pero itong tip na to are our opinions and what we think that we can do. Another thing is uh, let's let's reflect back. First, yung yung um, nabanggit ko na yung sa uh, short term short term goal natin would be zero to three months or from the time na malift ang ECQ to let's say the end of this year. Kaya tayo yung topic natin is the the second the second or the third topic we had was for the fourth quarter of 2020, di ba? So, in the next discussions, hihimay-himayin natin yan. So, uh, yun nga. So, magandang i-short goal natin is up to until this 2020. Ano ba yung goal na gusto nating makuha? But, yun sinabi naman ni, ni uh, Tami na let's step back and look back. I think we have to also reflect on what we have learned. What we have learned through this COVID crisis, what we have learned through this lockdown, diba? Number one is the importance of um, a business continuity plan, diba? BCP. Paano natin mapipick up? Saan tayo magsisimula? Paano natin ma makokontinue? continue yung business continuity natin once this is over. Okay? Yun yung unang lesson na i-reflect natin. At ano ba? Paano natin, natin makukontinue yung business natin? Okay? The second one is the cash flow. Kay magkano? Na, nasan tayo ngayon in terms of finance, uh, financial uh, capacity? Uh, in terms of financial capacity, nasan tayo ngayon? And how much do we need um, to inflate? How much do we need na idagdag natin sa capital? Okay? Para mapatakbo natin ulit ang business. The third thing you should um, reflect on is for saan natin kukunin yun? That's why we are uh, discussing these topics na banggit to sa inyo as uh, ASEX affiliates. After this, I will uh, we will be forming a group, sort of an association, para masupport natin, itatayap up natin yan sa mga financial companies na magpapaloan sa mga small businesses. Yung P3 program. So, hindi ko yan bibitawan. Talagang ikukush ko yan. And then, uh, another, uh, the third thing to reflect on is for the, um, your, your, your strategies. Will you be able to adapt quickly? Dahil sobrang sudden ang nangyari na to. Can we, can we adapt quickly? Diba? Or 
what can we do to move forward? So, yun yung mga points na dapat natin pag-isipan ngayon pa lang. Number one, uh, very important is business continuity plan. Paano tayo makakapag continue? Ano? Tagag sa continue. So, yun. Okay, next slide. Um, Senate chats, uh, your bliss. Um, nakikita ko yung names ng company, but, um, can, can we also do, put our, kahit first names lang, or names, para sa chat, nakikita ko, kasi, hindi ko memorize yung pangalan ng company kung sino kayo, kasi, madalas walang, walang video eh, pero kung may video, natatandaan ko sana. So, um, if, if you know how to put your name, please put it, put your names on the, uh, tawag dito, sa meeting natin para nakikita ko yung first names, para hindi yung company lang. Okay? Uh, request lang yan. Okay, ang chat niya is, I would like to get your opinion on positioning about the travel experiences of guests with our approval just to continue to market destinations but not necessarily selling. We'll just... Yes, oo. Sina yung, uh, sino yung sumagot? I think maganda yung mga throwback, mga throwback, throwback, mga ganyan, mga, basta feel good, good vibes, basta good vibes lang. Okay. Okay, so, ah, teka, tapos na to. The next slide is, while your game plan will drastically differ depending on your industry and there are a few common points of advice. Okay. First, cut, cut the superfluous marketing spend. So, alam naman natin yan. It's, it's, it's common. Kung hindi natin kailangan pagkagastusan, huwag natin pagkagastusan. Diba? Cut muna tayo sa mga personal trips. Although, syempre, importante pa rin nga na na-update tayo. So, let's just um, stay connected kung saan tayo pwedeng makapag-upskill maka, na hindi tayo masyadong gagastos. Because, syempre, ang marketing kailangan pinagkakagastosan din yan eh. Di ba? Kailangan may funding ka rin for that. But, be wise about it. Start being frugal. Okay? Second, it's a great time to invest in long-term channels, particularly if you can shuffle your marketing budget in that direction. The world is noisy and uncertain now, so outbound tactics can probably be shifted to building inbound assets like your blog, sales, enablement, oh yeah. So, ito yung, ito yung sinasabi na upskill lang tayo, upskill. Kung halimbawa may konting bayad yung online course na sa tingin mo na talagang magagamit mo, go, why not, di ba? Doon mo nalang igastos. Kung hindi mo naman kailangan mag-boost sa Facebook, don't do it. Pero kung kailangan mo, sa tingin mo, it's relevant for your business and kailangan na, it's time, then do it. Okay? The world will return to some semblance of normalcy eventually and you want to have your pieces in place to hit the gas when, it, when the time comes. Yun, yung, yung planting the seeds. Finally, the obvious one is to find the digital version of whatever offline work you are doing. Conferences becomes webinars and sales meetings becomes Zoom. But you can be creative as well. Yeah, so just be creative about it. I-maximize natin ang kung ano ang meron tayo ngayon. Diba? So paano natin magiging uh, magiging online yung mga offline transactions natin? Go, go, go na natin. If it's time to uh, create a blog, ang blog at vlog, magkaiba. Yung vlog, yung mga articles. Yung vlog, yung video. So, kung ayaw mo at hindi ka pa ready mag-video, mag-vlog ka muna. Mag magawa ka ng mga posts na kahit yung mga, yung kagaya ng sinabi nyo, yung mga pictures ng old um, clients na in nila, pictures, uh, your, your old um, pictures na hindi nyo pa na-upload or i-share nyo yung mga dati yung pictures. That's some kind of Blog. It's a blog na rin of sorts.
Okay? The next step is to act fast with a minimum viable product mindset to quickly launch new offerings. Yan. So, mabilis. Kasi mabilis ang panahon. So, we have all the time we need. Hindi naman lahat tayo may mga maliliit na anak. So, hindi naman tayo lahat may ginagawa na sobrang dami sa bahay. So, dapat ngayon yung time na to be creative about it. Ano yung mga naiisip nyo na pwedeng uh, nyo gawan na action as soon as possible. Okay? Uh, ito. Si Galaxy S9. Si Galaxy S9, please um, chat your name para alam natin kung sino ka. Cancel or avoid purchase of any unnecessary items or postpone and any unwanted expenses. Okay, that's that's common sense. Talaga naman yun ang gagawin natin. Miss Minda chatted, stay active on social media. Your community may want to hear from you. That's true. This is one way to keep in touch and also remain top of mind for customers. And join relevant ESQ challenges. Ano yun? Okay, posting ECQ siguro challenges. Ah, okay, Sir Arjun. Sorry, sorry. Your name is Galaxy S9. <laughs> Opo. I don't see you, yeah. Oo, kasi I requested all our attendees to put their names para we can see who's chatting us. Okay, moving on. Create your silver lining. Yeah, diba? There's always a silver lining. So, the best way to create, uh, sorry, the best way to have the best of everything in life, in your future, in your business, is to create your own opportunities and to create your own future. <laughs> Your your name is now Galaxy, okay? Thank you, thank you, Sir Galaxy. Yes, wala ba tayong universe jan? Universe World International and Philippines. Okay, look for the upside of the opportunity that is being created. Seventy five percent of our revenue came from in-person training. So we are using this as an opportunity to grow virtual offering. Act fast with a minimum viable product mindset to quickly launch your offerings and use data to see what works. Okay, so research, research, research. And that's what we are here for. That's what we, we are here to discuss para nakikita natin kung ano yung mindset Ng, ng, ng ating industry, ng ating market, ng ating suppliers, ng ating kapwa travel professionals. That's what we're here for, to support. So, if you will just make an effort to always be here, to always be present at discussion, then I think we will all um, ano ba? be steady and solid. We will be steady na walang Masyadong rocky. So, mas madalita natin may aangat ang isa't isa if we are always connected to each other and we're always um, listening, listening to each other, to one another. Okay? Next is to try new things. This is the time to try new things. We are using this as an opportunity to try things we normally wouldn't have. Okay, pag-isipan nyo yan. Ano ba yung mga bagay na hindi nyo normally ginagawa pero sa tingin nyo ngayon, dapat nyo nang gawin. Yan. Mag-practice na mag- mag-video, mag-vlog. Although ako, hindi ko pa yan ginagawa. Uh, hindi pa ako na nagtatry mag-vlog. But this one is just uh, uh, discussion. So, baka ma-practice na din tayo dito. So, you can also practice that by talking to us by sharing your ideas, even asking questions or 
or um, magbumati lang kayo or you want to say something that would inspire the group, siguro you can practice with us. Yun na yun, you can practice with us. You can try to speak um, to this, this, to this uh, discussion, to this group para ma-practice ang skills. Malay mo, dyan ka na ma-discover ni Kuya Germs. Keep in touch via uh, try digital marketing, yes. Keep in touch via phone, online meetings, not email. Reach out and use it as real opportunity to build even better relationship with better with people around who are also being everyone is affected actually. So you can try and keep in touch with everyone. Email is also good kung meron kang content palagi na sasabihin, you can blast it. Hindi yun masama. Kasi it's free. It's something it's something that you have within your reach that you you don't have to make an extra effort or pay extra money. Pero you, you still get to be visible to your clients. So email is okay. Yeah, okay. And market more. People are spending more time online and are still buying. Diba ang dami yung mga nagbebenta nag, ng nagbabayad sila lang anich anich diyan. Oh, mabenta sila. So at the same time, many big advertisers have pulled back. This creates a golden opportunity for businesses. The time to market is now and grow awareness and get your business in front of people. Oo, pakita ka lang. Pakita mo lang ang beauty mo. Mag-post ka about your opinion on COVID, on your business, on your your happiness, on your diba? your family. Yeah, yung ulam mo kahapon kung masarap. So I don't think it's insensitive that you post your life as long as okay, as long as it's not really that personal or it's not offensive. It's not insensitive to show people how you appreciate the little things now that you don't appreciate before. Two months ago, hindi mo naman ipopost kung ano yung binake mo today kasi you're so happy you were able to create something. ba? Hindi mo naman ipopost yung cute mong anak o yung aso mo. ba? Those little things that you now appreciate, it's not insensitive to post it. So don't feel guilty about it. Um, medyo madaming chat. Okay. Again. Basahin ko lang mabilis yung mga pumapasok na chats para hindi ko na miss. Okay. okay. What is the best time to launch? What is the best time to launch a post on FB? Is there new data this COVID time? When is the peak time where most people check your FB? Depende yan kung nasan kang lugar. Kasi uh, hindi pare-parehas ang markets eh. Pero since nasa Philippines tayo, Tami, can you butt in or can you correct me? The best time is around before ha? Before, the best time is around mga 7, 8 p.m. Okay. the Actually, makikita nyo before. po yung best time to launch a post depending sa traffic sa um, page nyo. Makikita nyo sa, sa analytics, insights. Sa analytics. Yeah, sa analytics. But Makikita generally, nyo, but, but generally, generally um, actually, yung mga travelers, kung dapat alam nyo kung anong oras sila talaga nagbubuk ng flight, tumitingin ng mga um, new destinations. Pero syempre, na, um, naka-lockdown tayo ngayon, 24-7 yan, marami talagang um, naka-online. Pero the best time is, of course, during um, lunch, dinner, or before before dinner or after dinner, mga midnight. Yan. Kasi di ba, um, doon lumalabas yung mga midnight sales, yung mga ganong gimmick. So, pwede nyo gawin yon, Pwede din kayong magbigay ng mga... Open, kung open yes. na yung office hours, kasi mm -hmm. we don't do it in office hours, right? Yes. We don't do it. Maraming gumagawa na. Kaya nila, 9 a.m. ako nag-post, maraming makakakita kasi umaga pa. That's not always the case. Ang mangyayari, matatabunan ka na matatabunan. So, the best time is after business hours. Kasi, Sigur, yeah, siguro gawin nyo ng, ano, test. 
maganda kasi gagawa tayo po ng mga test na um, what is the best time to post um, a post. Pwedeng mag-trial muna kayo in the morning, tapos check nyo kung ilan ba yung traffic nung post nyo. And on the evening, ilan ba yung traffic, at saka yun sa madaling araw. Kasi usually, um, random na yung ano, market natin ngayon. Eh. Kasi hindi natin alam kung after the lockdown, sino yung um, best target market natin. Siyempre, yung mga middle class or higher sa middle class pa na magustong kating-kati na mag-travel. So, mas madali natin silang um, ano yun, may engage na as ah, shocks, gusto kong pumunta sa ganito. Or pwede kayo mag-post ng mga gimmicks. For example, number one is um, siguro gawa kayo ng um, challenge sa kanila since nasa ECQ tayo madaling gumawa ng challenge kasi board na board na yung mga tao mga um, staycation ECQ challenge yung mga ganun so yun para ano engaging kasi um hindi enough na alam nyo yung time hindi rin enough na alam nyo kung saan magpo-post mas maganda kung alam nyo din yung uh, Content wise, dapat content wise din yung ipopost nyo. Kasi um, maganda nga yung traffic pero wala namang engagement. So, um, wala din. So, yeah, when, tayo, we say, yeah. when we say engagement, just um, explain a bit about it. Para okay. Yung engagement is yung may nagla-like, may nag-share, may nagko-comment. Para ano pandagdag ng traffic sa, sa page natin. More likely, yung mga friends of their friends, makikita yon itatag yun. Mag, um, effective din yung tag your friend, tag, tag someone else. Kasi um, this is the best time na gamitin or utilize natin yung social media kasi lahat tayo nasa soft ngayon. So, online tayo lahat. So, madali, madali ngayon mag-share, re-share, or um, retweet. So, gamitin natin lahat ng um, social media platform. It's very available online. And I think um, almost of the middle class and upper class naman nasa na, um, may available Wi-Fi. So, it's very important na um, mag-research about the social media. So, yun. Before before anything else, before mag-spend kayo, siguro, try to um, again, balik tayo dun sa um, mga small steps bago tayo mag, ano, mag-spend too much. Yun, like, it's, it's a, like um, Pareto rules or principles yung pinanggit niya si Joanna kanina. It's 80%, 20%. Kahit yung 20% na na, um, na mga ginagawa nyo, it will give an 80% impact later on. So, yun. Isip lang tayo mga gimmicks. Pero wag natin pipilitin. So, yun. Yan lang po. Yeah. So, thank you for that. Um, yes. Um, there might be no more piece of sale. Uh, aircraft will run on 60% capacity. So, expected na natin. Ang prices will not be the same as before. So, it's better, siguro, if you want to post, just post kung ano man yung kanda, meron ka ng itinerary or anything, just post about it and post that um, parang ano, parang we will, don't, don't post the price kasi hindi pa natin alam eh. May mga nagpo-post na ngayon ng prices but I don't think they, they uh, parang I don't think they uh, realize, they, foresee, they, they already foresaw kung magkano yung magiging pricing. Even our airlines, nahihirapan sila ngayon because of the fact of the social distancing. ba? So kahit nakalant tours lang tayo na domestic, that would still mean double the pricing for the transport. You can post the destinations, you can post the itinerary, you can post pictures, but it's maybe the, a, a good thing is to post or to promote that you will be having discounts, that you will be having promotions, but without, or you will be having a buy one, take one, you will be having a, something like that, but don't give the final prices yet. If you don't want to be compromised when the time comes na bakit ito yung promo mo tapos hindi mo sa may mabigay ngayon. Kasi remember, ang tao nasa social media, so isang screenshot, 
isang record, isang copy, they already have proof that you uh, posted this, that you, uh, that, that you promised this much and this much. Ganun siya ka-critical ngayon. So let's not risk na magbigay ng pricing ngayon unless you really know na yun yung magiging prices, na yun na yung magiging price ng, uh, ng fuel, yun na lang magiging price ng driver mo, yun na yung magiging price ng transportation, unless you know, and also the hotels, the accommodations, unless you, you, you really 100% know that you will have an income on top of the price na, binigay, na, na gusto mong i-promote, don't, uh, don't do it. Don't put pricing now kasi we can't do it. I don't suggest you do that. Cebu Pacific is offering peace to sale for domestic. But yeah, th this, these are marketing strategies. But we all know that this is not true. As agents, as, as wholesalers, I sell them. Sell them to never get that sale price. That piece of sale price, it's never gonna happen, lalo na ngayon. So maybe it's just misleading. Siguro gusto lang nila magsabi na, okay, buhayin natin, buhayin natin. Just like before. But we cannot fool people na it would happen just like that again. So let's, sabi ko nga, let's anticipate. Let's anticipate. Let's not make any um, conclusions right now. We, we can all have, we can all get to plan and we can all get to talk about it and discuss and learn and upskill, but we cannot make any, any conclusions about anything at this point in time. Do you agree? Yeah, on the cost of lights, it's most likely this will increase. Yes, not most likely, it definitely will increase. Kahit nga sa MRT, di ba dati 1,200 passengers ang kaya nila. It will be 100 plus na lang. Parang 13% ng original na passengers ng MRT lang. Kung 1,000 magiging 100 plus. It's just more than 10% na lang. Di ba? 150 or 100 something. Imagine that. What more so private services. What more is so a private uh, transportation? Right? Agree, agree. Ag Ay, ang dami agree. Salamat sa agreement. Bonga ang agreement. Hotels may also increase the rates. Actually, the hotels um, already is in harmony na parang ang 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 program nila ngayon is to give discounts, not to increase their sales. Because they know na hindi ito yung tamang oras na bumawi sa, ano, sa, sa market or bumawi sa losses. Ito yung time para mag-umpisa ulit. So bear in mind, ang hindi lang natin kasi masabi dahil doon sa social distancing, that's, that's a big part of the tourism, yung transportation natin. Kasi we don't know how many, like let's say for example, i-anticipate natin, baka, baka lang, i-regulate ng LTFRB ang tourist transportation. Let's say before, hindi nila pinagbabawalan kung ilang vans, ilang buses ang nasa kalsada sa isang buong araw. Pwedeng pinag-aaralan nila ngayon, na ililimit nila yon, So we don't know. So that, that would uh, be subject to updates and the guidelines of the government. So dun tayo magkakaroon ng differences of pricing. Sa hotels naman, siguro may magtataas, pero it's not, uh, it's not a wise move. It's not a wise idea to do that. Sa dami ng hotels sa buong Pilipinas, Lahat ng magtaas, unless sila magtaas, lahat-lahat sila magtaas. Hindi sila, hindi sila kikita agad, hindi sila makakabenta. ba? So, marami tayong 
iba't-ibang strategy sa business natin. Ilagay natin yung sarili natin sa hotels. So I don't think that they would do that at this moment. I think we they would be doing some promotions. So ang accommodation natin, we have a lot of options. Hindi natin masyadong uh, iniisip yan. Ang iniisip natin are the transportation, the services, and the fares. Yeah, hotels will have to be COVID compliant. Definitely. Diba? May nabalitan ba kayo na hotels na ginamit na mga PUI or PUM? I think so. Hindi ko lang alam kung saan, pero there are some hotels. Sa Manila, I think, may pinagamit. I don't know if PUI or PUM ang pinagamit or the frontliners. I think there are some. But I'm not sure kung sino-sino yun. Okay, going back, ito ang, ah, paborito ko to, gusto ko to. Spark the team spirit to achieve a common goal. Yan. Yan ang ginagawa natin ngayon. Yes. We are do, this is, this is what we are doing right now. Exactly what we are doing right now. We are creating this uh ano ba? this connection we are creating the team the team spirit para kung mas marami tayo within our group within our team then we can drive the industry we can be a market mover remember we can be a market mover kasi at this point in time everyone is equal Sogo po ang ginamit ng OWA. Yan, oo. Oo nga pala, yung mga OFWs, yung mga seafarers si natin, they use Sogo sa mga quarantine facilities nila. So, I think, yeah, meron. Okay, so this, this ito, i-share ko lang, i-emphasize ko lang how, how important this is. The work that we're doing now. We're not just here to Da, 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 talk, talk, talk. This is for a bigger purpose, which is to have, to create that team spirit. To create that team spirit, kasi we, sabi ko nga, we are all equals now. All the, the airlines, the hotels, travel agents, everyone at this point are all equal in so the tourism industry. And if we work together, if we uh, connect and work together, we can do it. Okay. Wait a minute. I don't know how to mute. I'm just going to Okay, thanks. Sorry, accidental. I'm just going to mute. Okay, so if we work together, we can drive the market we can move the market diba we can together actually we can we can do something about our businesses our personal businesses kung hindi tayo magkakanya kanya uh, now a lot of hotels help during this pandemic yes okay spark the team spirit to achieve a common goal so i i hope you 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 understand what I'm saying about this, the team spirit that I'm trying to tell you. <clears throat> yes. Ang competition naman, uh, collaboration, not competition. Yeah. Uh, ang competition naman, as long as we are, um, we can actually, we can compete. We can actually compete. As long as we, we respect each other, especially on the pricing. Ako, I'm, I'm doing B2B. So, kayo, you're mostly doing B2C. So, sa, sa, sa pananaw ko lang, since you're doing the B2C market, we should uh, have this um, agreement, especially about the pricing. Kasi kung gagawin natin yung ginagawa natin before na nagpapatayan sa pricing, nag aaway away sa pricing, nag aagawan then it would be harder, it would take us longer to bounce back. At maraming malalaglag. 
di ba? This is not a race anymore. This is not just about yourself or your business. This is about all of us. Di ba? This is all. This is about all of us moving together in unity and in harmony to our common goal. That is how important the work that we're doing here right now. Dito sa discussion natin. Okay? So, medyo mahaba. We think it's important to keep up the good team spirit by organizing digital events. So, ito na nga siya from time to time. Okay, so this is self-explanatory, but I just want to emphasize that. Kayang kaya pagsama-sama. Corrected by. Yeah, so this is not the time to, you know, kill each other's business. This is time to be creative. This is the time to be compassionate and uh, emphatic to, to other people, sensitive to other people. Yeah, okay. Next, your business will thrive and flourish against all odds if you adapt, adapt to the COVID-19 inspired realities. Listed below are strategies that would have worked for many successful businesses. Okay, organize your distributed teams. Organizing a remote team. So, ito yung pag sa may mga team na. Sa may mga teams na, um, this is the tip for you. But if you, kasi mostly sa atin dito, you're doing it on your own. So, the important thing is, if you need help, if, if you think na parang mas, parang mahihirapan ka o parang hindi mo, hindi mo forte yan, then you outsource. That's the time you outsource. Hindi mo naman kailangan mag-hire ng talagang empleyado kasi they can work from home and help you. So, this is the time to help yourself to learn. Okay? Hindi kasi lahat pwedeng magkaroon ng online uh, business. Just like what the DEC, the DepEd and the yeah, yung Department of Education na nagiging dilemma ngayon ng um, mga students kung papasok ba sila sa school or mag-virtual classes sila. That's the same thing with us. Hindi lahat tayo pwedeng sabihin na mag-online selling tayo or mag-virtual something tayo. It's because of the fact that hindi lahat tayo may stable connection sa internet. Right? Hindi lahat tayo kaya. I mean, hindi lahat tayo equipped. Diba? Unang-una, di ba nakakainis kung halimbawa pipilitin mo nga mag-zoom uh, meeting kayo ng client mo. Pero panay-panay naman, choppy-choppy mo. Hindi ka maranag, hindi ka makita, putol-putol. So, parang nawawala yung momentum. ba? So, you have to think of other ways if this is not applicable to you. That's why uh, we have the team. We have, we have this, this group. To look at the options and to see how we can help support each other. Okay? Next, masyado ng techie yun eh. About sa ano, books na yun. Okay, so the next is to work on your messaging to connect with your customers without falling into over-sentimental approach. Yan. Napaka-importante when connecting to people, talking to people, not just because it's COVID or not just because ito yung situation natin. It's very important in your daily life, in our daily lives, to be sincere. Sincerity and authenticity is very important when connecting, when talking to anyone, to anybody. Because, because of the technology now and the, the, the social media, it is somewhat more transparent so, kung pinaplastic natin ang isa't isa, it would be more obvious now than ever. So, it would be very uh, good advice to be authentic. Eh, kung mataray ka talaga, mataray ka talaga. Let, let us 
know you as that. It's better for other people to know who you are than for them to, uh, paano ba? to second guess. Diba? Kung honest ba to, sincere ba to, o hindi. Diba? Tapos na yung moments na orokan, orokan moments natin. So, this time, very important to be authentic, to be sincere in whatever you do. Kasi nakikita na ngayon ng tao mas discerning na ang tao ngayon. I don't know why. Baka bumukas na ang third eye or whatever. Nag-evolve na tayo. So, we see the sincerity. We see the heart. We see the intentions. We see the um, the sentiments. So, it's better to be authentic. Kung hindi ka talaga ganun ka, ka, ka vocal, kung hindi ka ganun ka show your, hindi ka ganun, hindi ka ganun, just stop it and start to be more of yourself and express yourself in an honest and um, sincere, authentic way. Yeah. Okay. Um, I personally don't think there are any quick wins, so I'd focus on three things. One, focus on your existing customers. Yeah, if you pinag gusto ko sa slide. Focus on your existing customers and retain them as much as possible. Even leverage their own network for referrals. That's a good sound advice for me. Huh? Try and try and try as much as possible. Walang masama na makakuha ng bagong clients but the best client you would have you would have the best network that you would have is the one that you already capture yung existing clients mo yun ang trabahuin mo na hindi mawala sa iyo na ma-retain very important and if sila is satisfied with you then you can ask for referrals. You can ask them to maybe um, share your posts, to maybe um, give your, your contacts to their friends. That's it. That's how you grow. Don't look for other greener pastures. I mean, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not bawal naman. It's not, it's, I don't say that don't do it, but it's, it's, it would probably be uh, easier for you. It would probably be faster if you don't search for new markets at this point in time. Your focus should be, our focus should be to retain what we have. Balikan natin yan, sino-sino ba yan. And then we try for them to, you know, refer us to other of their networks. Okay, number two is take this downtime to work on long-term strategies that will help your business after this is all over. So, kanina pa natin binabanggit, di ba, yung long-term long strategies natin. Long-term would be years and years from now. Short-term is from this after the lifting and up to maybe early next year. Yun. And then work on your messaging to connect with your customers without falling into over-sentimental and somewhat forced approach. Ito yung sinasabi natin, okay lang ba mag-post ng mga package, ganyan, ganyan. So, it's, it's, pakiramdaman nyo, it's up to you. But all I'm saying is, yes, you can, but please don't promise the prices. Don't give out, don't conclude any of the prices. Naririnig pa ba? Online pa ba ako? Parang nag-stop yung chats. Teka ha, hindi ko nakikita eh. Okay. May chat si Tami. Make good connection, friendly competition, collaborate. You can learn from your competitors and creative and be creative and Think out of the box. Ika nga, ni Miss Tami Makalinta, of out of the box creatives. Think out of the box. Parang hirap na, no? complicated para sa akin. Parang think out of the box. Good luck sa ating lahat, guys. We can bounce back. Yes, we can. 
we can bounce back. Sorry ah, ang dami ko, ang, ang haba na nasi, sabi ko, na, nakikerry the way ako. Gising-gisingin niya ako sa chat para umandar tayo. Okay, trying to uh, pack loud and clear, sexy tita. Yung gusto ko yan, tita, papakapihin kita pag pwede na. Pero bawal na Starbucks, tipid-tipid tayo, 3-in-1 na muna. Sagot ko na ang 3-in-1 mo. Okay, trying to hard sell isn't going to work in anyone's favor right now. True, lalo, lalo. Brands need to invest on building and maintaining a meaningful relationship. So, ang relationship, very important. Kahit wala kang jowa, okay lang yan. Relationship with yourself is the most important relationship you could ever have. O, di ba? Kawai-kawai, Miss Tami Makalintal. Hashtag, shout out sa mga walang jowa. Char. Okay, so relationship, even to yourself, being honest, even to yourself only is very important. Okay? Be optimistic. Yun nga. Kasi sinasabi nila, pag optimistic, masyadong um, nababayas, tumitingin lang sa maganda, hindi nakikita yung hindi maganda. It's not like that. So, that's why I said, um, on a positive note, anticipate. Yun na lang, para balance tayo. Anticipate the good and the bad. Don't expect. And yeah, be optimistic in a good sense. Na hindi yung parang overly, na hindi ka talaga titingin sa negative. Pag may narinig ka negative, ah, hindi, hindi, hindi yan, hindi yan. Don't do that. Kasi you will cast a shadow to the stuff that is not known to you. Diba? Na Porket hindi mo tinitignan, it doesn't mean na hindi nangyayari. That's true. But kung nakikita mo both sides, then you can discern and you can make your decisions based on both the darkness, the positive, and the, the darkness and the light, the positive and the negative. So, di ba? Use humor. Yan. Kung may jokes tayo dyan, Sir Tony, maraming jokes yan. Paso ka mga jokes ni Sir Tony, di ba? Kailangan, kailangan natin ngayon at this time is our own humor. Di ba? It doesn't mean na magiging stand-up comedian ka or something like that o maging vice ganda ka or kopyahin mo yung, yung, yung style ng iba. In yourself, you know, you have humor. Sa family mo, di ba? You have humor. It's not... It's not just jokes. It's not always about joking around. It's you having humor is being fun inside. I mean, to to paano ba yung yung nag uh, lumalabas sa yon nag meron kang pino project na interesting na fun. That is humor. I'm seeing a different joy. Prettier blue. Ah, uh, mm, walang filter ang camera. Baka, baka inspired ako, Sir Tony. Miss na kita, magkita tayo after the COVID ha. May utang pa tayo sa isa't isa na meeting. Hindi pa natin nagagawa. You're doing great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sir Tony. I miss you. I will see you. I will see you soon. Sir Arya, the best example, mamaya let, uh, we'll let him talk. The best example for me, my mentor, Sir Arjun. Hands up. Humor-wise, very, very good. Because it's his personality. Eh. If you show your personality, we have different personalities, we have different characteristics, but it's equally, uh, it's equally beautiful. It's equally. And it's equally it's equally nice and it's equally effective. Talaga ba? Baka naman yung camera ko malabong mata. Hindi kita ang pores. Arte arte ko. Hmm. Create new and remind people of old memories. Yan. This is also important for us. Kasi ito ang pinanghahawakan natin talaga sa clients natin. 
remind them of the good memories, of the good service, of the good destination, good food, whatever it is that you shared with this particular uh, client or, or a guest, whatever it is that you shared with them that they like, remember it and let them remember. Diba? Simplihan nyo lang. Bahala kayo. Anong, Hi, baby! Bahala kayo kung anong diskarte nyo, kung paano nyo maririmind. But the memories are good. Kasi yan ang pinangahawakan ng lahat ng tao sa buong mundo. Only the memories of the good times that they had. Kasi may kanya-kanya tayong anxiety, worries, fears of the unknown. We don't know the future right now. We, we only have the present and of course the memories. So let's let's uh, take that memory and use it to our advantage. Remind our guests and our clients about the good times we had. Diyan kayo magsisimula to retain that client. And finally, and maybe the most important, is to include your customers in discussions and give them choices. In times like this, people want to be heard. Honesty, honestly, it is the role of the Honestly, it is the role of the brand to listen. So yeah, th this is the time to listen, not push, not sell. Listen. They don't have to do everything suggested, but they will be far closer to getting things right the first time when they have a lot of information. Hi, si Reconnect sa chat. Naisulat mo siguro yung password sa name mo. Hindi, ko ma hindi kita maki... Ma Masulat na lang ng name. Para alam ko kung sino si Reconnect. Ginawa mong nickname yung password natin for today. Colors. Okay, the next slide. Miss Tami, hold on lang ah. Uh, biblisan ko na, promise. Okay. If you're in B2B, try offering cost, custom plans and help existing customers. So this one is for me. And for you, if you're doing B2B. And I will share with you these plans. Okay? This one is uh, self-explanatory. Para mabilis tayo, you can uh, look at it. Promise, please remind me to send you the slides. Okay, the next is to create a standard operating procedures for work from home during lockdown. That's important. You should set up your work from home um, office. Office. You should set it up. And then, you should make it as businessy. Parang ano yung pakiramdam mo na parang nas nag-work ka na ulit. Don't put your 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 business, your home uh, home business uh, home office setup sa lugar kung saan nasa pintuan, maraming tao, may mga dumadaan, may mga ano. Put it in in a, in a small space that would make you feel secure about your business. That would make you ins, that inspire you. Dalawa pala yung video ko. Okay. Yeah. So put put your um, office. Office set up your office uh, work work from home set up in a space that you feel safe in a space that you feel calm and the and the uh, space that you would think that you can focus and you can think about business. Wag mong ihalo sa dining table nyo. Wag mong ihalo sa tabi ng washing machine or something. It can be a small table, it can be a small space, sa living room, sa, sa kwarto. Again, it's up to you, but I'm just saying, you feel nyo, you feel nyo yung, yung space na yun as your own to do business. Okay, accept the new normal and adapt to it. So, yun na. Create a standard operating procedures. Paano ba yan? Kung may staff ka, ano ba yung operating procedures nyo? Once the uh, lockdown is uh, lifted, 
paano, saan magtatrabaho mga empleyado mo, you don't have to go to the office, they don't have to go to the office, but they have to report to you. You can do something like this, a webinar, naka-open lang. So, lahat ng ginagawa nila, you can share lahat ng ginagawa mo. Pwede mo agad-agad ipasa sa kanila. Something like that. Okay? Next is, okay, and then, ito parang paulit-ulit na, stay positive and market wisely. So, nabanggit na natin yan kanina. Uh, anticipate, anticipate, anticipate. And be sensitive. Listen para ma ma market more wisely. If you're capable of doing the shift uh, to a work from home setup, this way you can operate through. Okay. Yeah, just yung sabi ko, kasi we're uh, with the non essential services. So set up your your own home office sa isang maliit na space lang na may mesa ka. Kung, kung gusto mo, takpan mo ng kortina takpan mo ng kahoy divider do so it's for your it's for your own mental health it's for your own good diba if you think about it it is a win-win situation for both parties employers uh, will get their office overhead costs like electricity and other resources on the flip side employees will get to enjoy more time with their families at home and at the same time you're alleviated from the stress of daily morning commute. Yeah, importante pa kasi, di ba, kung ang um, empleyado nyo or ang office mo malayo sa inyo, problema mo pa yung public transportation. Di ba? So, if you can do it at home, then do it at home. Apart from your employees, your lo loyal customers are your most valuable resource in this time of a global crisis. Your business is likely shut down. Talagang shut down. Shut down talaga. And you won't be able to expand your client base any further. That's why it's important to retain what you have now. Ang suggestion niya is to take care of these loyal clients and invest in them more. Strengthen your relationship with them and build more trust. Make them see the value of what you can offer and remind them that they will realize their goals and achieve growth when they choose to work with you. Pa! Yun na yun. Okay. Then, focus on retention strategies and stop the bleeding. The bleeding is like what you are losing in terms of losing clients, in terms of losing more cash, sa gastos, overhead expenses. So, you have to focus on sealing all the leaks and the cracks and the bleeding. So, you, dun tayo mag-focus. Wag muna tayo mag-focus in expanding. There's no expansion. It's it's a dream. It's a dream for people to, to think of expansion sa industry natin for now. Okay, the best tactic you can use is trying to retain as many customers as possible. Yes na yes. Yan ang boto ko. Okay, retention is an even better strategy. Okay, growing is good, but it's better to... Retention is better. So right now, your main focus should be on stopping the bleeding there rather than trying to win new business. Okay, teka. May pumapasok pa. 5.51 na. Okay, just doubling down on what we know works well and pushing through. Okay. Hi, and Lily Epps. So, coronavirus pandemic has forced many companies to work from home. While we are challenged in involved in transitioning from in office, okay, the first for me is to ensure the safety of every employee because without your work, okay, tamayan. So, we always have to. Um, have in mind to think about the safety and health of our staff, our family, and ourselves. But personally, I don't think na magkakaroon ng vaccine against uh, the COVID virus soon, ano? I mean, this year, siguro hindi. But even, even if uh, magkaroon, I'm not saying na 
tularan niyo ako or maniwala kayo sa akin. I don't think I would let myself get vaccinated for anything. Bakit kanyo? Kasi ang COVID yung virus na yan, it attacks the immune system. Who's to say that yung Deng Vaksha nga, diba? we had a lot of problems with Deng Vaksha where Deng Vaksha has been there for years and years and research ang dami. So my take on that, my stand on the vaccination, I don't think I will vaccinate my kids, myself, my family, or would recommend it to my friends. What I would recommend is just to be um, conscious, uh, aware of your own body. And ano yun, um, adapt the idea of making your immune system stronger. Yun na lang. Magpaaraw ka. Um, magpakalma ka. Whatever. Um, you can do meditation. You can do yoga. You can do anything. Hobby. Mag painting ka, whatever you can do to, to keep your stress level down. And in turn, get, boost your immune system. But for me, kung magkakavaksin man, I doubt it, but kung magkakavaksin man, no. Yoko. Yeah, we have avoided uh, polio TB measles YouTube. Yeah, that's true. But we also we also develop a lot of um, harmful complications. Hindi lang natin alam. Move on, sabi ko nga. Sorry na. Hindi lang natin alam. But you know, just just for me, just for me. Okay, so nasa na ba tayo? Safety, yeah, and safety and health. So, always remember, sa office nyo or sa bahay nyo, hygiene, cleanliness. Okay? Invest in interactive tools and fast connectivity tools. Yan, if possible, magpa-upgrade tayo ng internet. Yan ang gawin natin. Kumabagal lang internet. Kumanap na yung internet. Kung may pambili, bumili ng equipment, kung computer man yan, laptop man yan, tablet man yan, o phone man yan, nagagamitin for business, hindi gagamitin for personal, so that we can focus more on the business, yan, dyan ka mag-invest. Mag-invest ka sa online courses or any course that you think that would benefit you, dyan ka mag-invest. Okay, mag-invest ka sa home office mo, that's okay. Yeah, internet is very essential. So invest, invest sa inyong connectivity tools. Okay, ito is common sense, but just to remind you, be human. Human. Be kind. Be helpful. Keep marketing, but be mindful. Yun nga. Sensitivity is everything. Okay? Reject the notion of business as usual. Marami tayong kapitbahay na kapit kapitbahay na bansa, na countries, na ganyan ang, ang ang mindset. May mga tinatanong ako, mga operators from different different countries. Isa sa mga nakita kong mindset sa mga karatig nating mga uh, Southeast Asian countries, they said ang mindset nila is business as usual. So, that is not the time for us. For me, uh, that, that is not the time for this, for business as usual. The time now is for us to be uh, para ba? compassionate. Yun. So, be human. Reach out to all clients and check in with them. I haven't, tried try, I haven't been trying to sell my services just to recognize that we're all going through something unprecedented and to make sure that the people they care about are okay. So, kumustahan lang, dun muna tayo start. Be helpful. You know your business, clients, and customers. Ask if you can help. Be on your usual channels, but focus on helping people in whatever way you can. That's good. A good example of this is John Esperian of LinkedIn. Si pare John daw. Si pare, kung pare ka yan eh. Hindi ko na nakakamusta yan eh. 
You can build up a lot of goodwill and keep yourself top of mind when you when people are ready to get back to work. That is very true. Okay? Keep marketing but be mindful. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng be mindful? It's important to keep your name out there but make sure you're not being tone deaf. Meaning hindi mo sila naririnig, hindi mo nakikita na hindi na nakaka-offend ka na. Go back to anything you've scheduled and see if it needs to be put on hold. Maybe you've got an older resource that's perfect to help people in an unsettling time. This is the time to put it out there. Okay. Identify new opportunities like many others. You have uh, you have seen long-term clients and contacts evaporate. Bang! Ang Gold's Gym nga pala, by the way. Ang Gold's Gym, di ba, isang malaking company, they already filed for bankruptcy. Imagine, Gold's Gym, social yan. Ang daming mga social na nag-Gold's Gym. But now, they filed for bankruptcy. So, look how big is the impact. Uh, okay, so think about whose business is booming right now and you'll know where to offer your services. Sino, sino ba sa mga clients mo ang sa tingin mo? May, may uh, business pa or may income pa hanggang ngayon. Yun, hindi ka magiging insensitive if you reach out to them. Food is number one. Yes, food. But maybe, Sir Arjun, food but maybe not the... Gourmet ones, not the high-end, high-end ones. Yung mga mabilisan, tsaka yung mga cheap, mga mura, but uh, affordable but reasonable. Um, si Jollibee, even the fast food chains, are going to feel, uh, they're feeling the loss now, but I think after the COVID, they're still going to feel the market is slow. It's because of the reason that ang mga tao na sanay na kumain sa bahay. So if you're not offering something special for them, I don't think na magbuboom yan. But if you have something special or you have a market for it, go. Yeah, no restos, no marvelous cooking. Okay, so far the most effective, ayun, communicate coherently and allocate resources towards e-commerce and disruption. So what, what does e-commerce mean? In, uh, in a general sense, e-commerce is having your business, the full scale of your business uploaded online. Hanggang payment. Yung kunyari may my quotation, my um, sales, um, your invoicing mo, your payment gateway. Yeah, so everything would be paperless and up in the cloud. That is e-commerce. Okay? Disruption is something that would change the market. Something that changes the market. It disrupts the market. And it, it uh, upgrades. No churches, no baptism, marriage. Yes, e-commerce. Me, me, you. 11, set up on your own. Grocery, all that. Yeah. Yeah. Groceries, whatever it is. Ang dami naman yan. You can do the payment, di ba? Via banking online, via PayMaya. We will have a topic about that um, in, in the near future, in mga, mga next week. So I will discuss it also. Malapit na matapos. Malapit ka na, Miss Tammy. Please be ready. So, communicate coherently and allocate resources towards e-commerce and disruption. So, communicate coherently, meaning communicate to understand. Communicate to listen. Communication is not to talk. Communication is to understand. Yun. Yun yung essence niya. So far, the most effective tactic for any business in order to survive this challenging time is mix of coherent communication, internal and external allocation of resources um, towards e-commerce and disruption, mostly in logistics due to the supply shortage. The top three tactics we could highlight are one, brand should keep its customers updated about any actions taken to protect its employees and its customers. Hygiene, 
fear has a huge negative impact on e-commerce revenue, especially during this period. So this is really important. Okay, yung um, COVID-19 guidelines natin, dapat nakaset yan sa bawat office. So papag-usapan natin yung guidelines na yan, or you can research about it, dapat alam nyo yung guidelines and you have it in mind na palaging nandyan. Brand should keep its customers updated about any actions taken to protect its employees and its customers. Hygiene fee, uh, oops, yeah. allocate your resources to e-commerce. So, you know, convert some of your physical store stuff to support the e-commerce department. So, you know, basahin na lang. So, um, and the third is give more motives to your customers to buy from you. So, give more reasons. Give more, inspire more para bumili sa iyo, ang iyong kliyente. Okay, the next is, this is the key moment for a brand to show much more solidarity with its clients than before. Uh, the coronavirus total catastrophe for many industries and the final damage has yet to be accounted for. That's why we cannot, we cannot and cannot conclude on anything right now. Kasi we have no um, concrete data on what, what will happen. Okay, so the most reactive have even come to open their products and services for free or have opened themselves to donations and unprecedented discounts because they perceive the social and economic impact uh, this situation will cause in the very near and imminent future. Okay, so this is very important na magbigay tayo ng something. Huwag muna tayo mag to gain now. So, we have to give something of our own to share para makita ng clients natin how we really care, how we are sincere in caring. Diba? The small, the small, small stuff matters. Okay? The basic rules to keep in mind for business these days are not to be passive. Okay, you have to be active, not passive. Marami tayong mga agents ngayon na passive. I don't know what they're thinking. I want to reach out to them para hindi ko sila masyadong nakikita. Hindi ko alam kung ano nasa isip nila. So, but if I can, but but I don't have the means. Hindi ko, hindi ko alam kung sino yung active at hindi. So, Kung may mga kakilala kayo na mga agents na passive right now that you want to help help them, please, please share this and invite them to our discussion. And then answer with empathy any comments or questions related to COVID-19 if you can answer. But if you're not, if you, if you cannot answer, if you're not in a position or you're not in an authority to answer for it, please be honest about it and tell them, okay, we will find out. But I'm not in the position to tell you or to give you that information. Be flexible with collaborators, partners, and maintain confidentiality. It's very important. And then publish educational and informative, inclusive content to show that you are not on the sidelines of the situation. Yun lang. Simple, di ba? Create brand loyalty with all of your existing customers by the way you handle the crisis. So, sabi ko nga, Tinitignan, nakikita ng madla, nakikita ng network mo, nakikita ng social media, what is happening to everybody right now just because they don't have anything else to do. So, hindi ka na ini-stop. Wala lang talaga siyang magawa. So, please, it's, it's very important, kagaya sinabi ko, to be authentic, to be yourself, and to show them who you really are in terms of what you do and what you post to the social media and how you connect with your clients. Diba? The more authentic they would see you, the more they would trust you and the more they would give you the business. Yeah, and in these troubled times, it's all about support and communication, not only supporting your customers through this pandemic, but also supporting your team and employees in any way you can. This time, I'm supporting you. I'm trying to support you. You're not my employees. You're not my staff. But you are my asterisk. You are, you are part of the industry. You are part of my extended family of sorts. Because I, uh, I personally 
feel that we have we have been becoming a community here and like a big family so yeah you love this is this is something that i do for you not for money but because i want to support you and i want us to thrive and i want us to be the market movers of this industry okay this is a time where you can really capitalize and create brand loyalty with all of your existing customers by the way you handle the crisis work through your clients specific needs and they won't ever forget how you handle the situation and take care of them that's true right? Diba? and the same goes for your employees by supporting your team throughout this crisis you create a loyal workforce that will make your business their own they'll have a vested interest and work that much harder it's true lalo lalo kapag nararamdaman mo na sinusuportahan ka andyan ang loyalty mo voluntary ibibigay mo yan hindi yan kailangan i-demand sa iyo ng boss mo i-demand sa, sa mga staff mo it's because you support them and they feel that you care so they will stay remember support and communication is the key throughout crisis management and at the end of the day we're all in this together okay 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 summary take away for the day number uh, although people have different perspectives ready ka na last slide ko na to miss tammy okay although people have different perspectives regarding their business amidst the crisis some points do stand out for me this is me na ha? for me this is um one is accept the change and stay positive and anticipate number two is empathy and compassion plays a great role to overcome this together number three is open communication lines both internally and externally number four is make the transition from offline to online using available tools hindi ko sinabi na napilit mo kung hindi mo kaya but at least make an effort to learn be creative in your marketing strategy we'll talk about that how to be creative but it's really up to you okay touch base and retain, uh, retain your existing clients very important diba? create a standard operating procedure for situations like this number eight is inspire loyalty for both your employees and clients by showing your support in whatever way you can and then the nine is time the time to connect is when tomorrow yesterday okay ah hindi nakita yung slide hindi na ba nakikita yung slide ko that is the last of my slides now gising pa ba buhay pa ba si miss tami na ang next and i will stop sharing my uh, screen now okay and uh first i will why na share mo na agad naging co-host ka na agad agad okay Hello, okay guys. yeah again i want to introduce to you Sammy Makalintal of out of the box creatives Pak, oh, sige. Nakikita nyo po. Ito na ha. Mute ko na muna yung aking surreally. Thank you so much. Hello guys. Hello everyone. So, again, I'm Tami Mahalintal from Out of the Box Creative. So, um, today, mabilis lang to. Mabilis na ako mag-explain. Um, um, inputs lang to on how to be relevant in today's digital era. Okay. Um, next. Oh, wait lang. Wait lang. Okay. Okay, the great pivot. Um sabi nila may author ng sabi, um the brand the the great brand is um comes from the great pivot. Paano ba pag sinabing great pivot? This is the best time to rebrand or re-strategize or step back backwards and um reflect kung ano ba yung mga um pwede nating gawin ngayon during this pandemic and after the pandemic um sabi ni Robert Kiyosaki my favorite author sabi niya the the old economy is dead so we have a newborn economy so um yung mga old ways natin 
mga old ways natin, hindi na siya applicable sa new era or new economy. So we have to we have to make a step um we have to make a move right away. Sabi niya, um, your job is to position yourself and be ready when the opportunity presents itself. Um, it's okay to be late. It's okay to be, I know, it's not okay to be late pala during this time. It's okay to be so early. Parang, sabi ni Miss um, Jo kanina na, um, it's not okay to expect. Yeah, you have to be optimistic and realistic at the same time. Um, it's not okay now, especially now na magiging late tayo. We have to, um, kasi kung business-minded ka, kung business owner ka, ikaw dapat yung nagda-drive sa team mo na um, to, to have a goal kung ano ba yung, ano ba yung um, gusto nyong marating pa. Diba? Siyempre, of course, every one of us na, na gusto natin mag-irritain uh, pa yung business natin. Pero um, this time is um, a time to, yes, this is the time to uh, um, think if you can still go on or not. If not, this is the best time to um, choose whatever path na pwede. Yan. Okay, next. Um, we live in a VUCA world. VUCA means volatile. Pag sinabing volatile, pa iba iba. Like, for example, um, two months ago or three months ago, akala natin okay pa yung world and then nag-hello world sa atin si COVID-19. So, nagbago lahat. na ACQ tayo. So, everyone is transforming from the um, traditional to non-traditional. So, ngayon, um, let's make use the volatile. The, let's make use the the word volatile to be uh, more creative, more um, passionate sa mga ginagawa natin, and also siguro time din to, to research and study more on something else or expand your um, knowledge. Because this is very important, especially now. Na ano ba yung next step natin after this? Kasi we have afterlife, after ECQ eh. Hindi naman forever lockdown tayo eh. Next is uncertainty. We are not really sure of what's going to happen next day or the five five months or one year. Kasi I'm very sure na hindi agad magbabounce back yung economy. So we have to prepare ourselves emotionally, mentally, physically, everything. So ayun, we have to... Uh, Ayan. Next is the complexity. Mamaya ako explain. Kung complexity, um, sobrang dami ng pwede natin gawin. And yung capacity ng brain natin is um, hindi naman hindi natin kaya, hindi naman natin pwede bugbugin lang ng bugbugin yung brain natin. We have to practice din. Diba? So yeah, it's very important to make those theories, this, these things. Theory lang to. Um, magagawa niyo to kung kung ga, gagawin niyo magagawa niyo lang to ma-apply niyo lang to or um may ex ma malo-learn niyo lang to in a um ano ba uh, practical way so gagawin niyo next is ambiguity so um alam niyo na yung ambiguous na sobrang dami na nating pwedeng gawin okay so now, as an advertising um, practitioner or PR, meron kami kinatawag na crisis management. And this is the best time to uh, make use that, of the tool ng um, digital age. So, very available naman yan. Si Google, si Facebook, si Instagram, si YouTube. So, si LinkedIn whatsoever. Si, uh, um, sino pa ba? Um, mga blog sites. So, we have to be vibrant. Vibrant and um, in a way na magiging positive tayo sa outcome. Yes, um, I will give you the copy but I'll send ko later on. Yeah, we have to be vibrant na parang um, let's look on a positive way. Pero syempre, let's not, um, let's not think naman na sobrang eh, ano, optimistic na hindi natin nakita yung mga negativities. So, um, syempre, ang vibrant meron yung iba't ibang color, may gray, black, whatsoever. So, yeah, we have to be vibrant, be creative as much as possible. Next is unreal. This is the best time to um, to unleash yourself, your your creativity, 
ito yung best time then to explore, to uh, um, create new things. Like for example, gusto niyo mag-gumawa ng app para sa business niyo, um, gumawa ng uh, parang what yung mga effective yung mga immediate na 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 more na um, business para sa ibang sa ibang industry i mean you can sell kapag business minded ka kasi ano eh all you all you think is how to to gain money eh di ba how to market so this is the best time to be so unreal na pero syempre again sabi nga ni Miss ni Miss Jo kanina let's anticipate Yan. Siyempre, I, I'm speaking as I'm speaking as a advertising or pro, uh, marketing practitioner or PR. So yun. And crazy. Next is crazy. Let's be crazy enough to think na magkakaroon tayo ng innovate, innovative ideas. No, paano ba natin ita transform yung travel industry into much more um yung unrealistic ba na in, in two years time baka baka magtanagta travel na tayo na mas ma, mas mabilis mas effect mas efficient mas mura yung mga ganon so this is the best time to create a new world to create a new market let's be crazy enough to think of new ways new strategies next is um astounding so yun yung mga um mga outstanding ideas nyo so this is the best time to show that the book world is another uh, yung book world na kanina din described ko ay may mga positive side ng book world natin which is vibrant and real crazy and astounding. So next, um eto na. Ano ko lang 'yan? Intro ko pa lang 'yan. <laughs> next is number 1, integrated marketing communication. Let's not forget of course the traditional um let's start from the very beginning. Integrated marketing communication po, yun yung sinasabi namin, you have to know your target market, your positioning, your brand, um, paano ba yung brand strategy, yung SWOT analysis nyo. Kasi baka mamaya yung mga old ways natin, hindi na siya ganun ka-effective sa bagong market. So, maganda na, maganda na i, i, um, i take note natin yung mga yun. Kasi, um, baka makakita tayo ng iba pang opportunity or iba pang strategy. So, you can research naman sa integrated marketing communication kung paano ba yan. Then, makakakita kayo na different ways, different different strategies to market your brand, your business, how to sell them, um, be, ano yun, um, be relevant as much as possible. Don't don't uh, be afraid to explore new things, diba? Kasi you have to, we have to adjust eh. Kasi if we don't adjust, mala left out tayo. For example, kayo wala ka, for example, kung wala pang, um, uh, wala pa kayong Facebook page, oh, you have to think again, you have to uh, make a step forward, diba? Pero everything naman, Ano na yan, nasa online na yan. It's very um, reachable naman sa atin. So, number one siguro is to research. Research, research, research. Yun lagi ko sinasabi even sa mga empleyado ko, sa ano, sa empleyado namin na we, ha we have to value the, the word research. Kasi if mag uh, mag implement agad tayo without even knowing kung ano ba yung kulang natin, kung ano yung kailangan natin, ano pa yung, ano yung bago. So, we have to research again. Research research is very important. So, again, knowledge is a very powerful powerful tool for a business person, businessman or entrepreneur. Next is the importance of advertising. So, madaming ways ngayon to uh, market, your, market your services or your brand or your product. Siyempre, um, siguro tanggalin na natin yung traditional. We have to cut, cut off yung mga, um, ano ba, yung mga cost natin. Siguro cost cutting tayo. I-place natin kung saan ba yung mas effective. Kailangan ba talaga natin mag-spend dito sa Facebook um, business manager na to? Kailangan ba natin mag-boost? Mag Kailangan ba natin ano? Siguro, itas nyo muna kung paano ba, paano ba yung market? Kung sino ba yung market? Sino pa yung market? 
or sino pa yung magiging market nyo. So, that's, that's how important mar um, advertising or marketing is, uh, especially sa travel industry. Yung, kasi we have to retain our brand, eh, your, our name. Um, pagka um, one day lang wala ka sa, wala ka sa social media na pag-iiwanan ka na eh, di ba? That's how fast digital world is. So, dapat um, every every time we have to remind ourselves na, selves na uh, kailangan kong, kailangan alamin ko kung ano, asa na ba? Asa na ba? We have to position ourselves. We have to know not just ourselves, but of course, um, sa brand nyo. Um, I'm, I'm talking about the business side. Ah. Pag sinabi ko yourself, it's, a bis it's your business. So, yun. Um, Binababasa ko ah. Is it advisable? Wait lang. Is it advisable to have one digital manager? Manager? To have that? Um, yes, it is. It is advisable. Pero, syempre, kung kukuha kayo ng... Outra ko. Eh, kung kukuha kayo ng... ng so, lagi, de, lagi na human mo eh. Magtulo uh, na may kao. Paano po i-mute? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um... Yes, it is advisable na may mag-handle po ng mga soft meds nyo. Pero, um, siguro ngayon, mas maganda kung kayo mismo mag-handle ng soft med nyo or someone who is um, better, alam niya na yung ginagawa niya. Kasi, nagkumaskati nga tayo. Eh. Maybe, maybe um, what, what I can say, what I can suggest is, Ah, uh, teka ha. Mute natin. Baka may accidentally na unmute. Mm. What I suggest is if you don't know how to start up the sock meds, yung platform nyo, hindi nyo alam umpisahan, hindi nyo alam kung saan, paano, siguro you can, right now, what you can do is outsource. Diba? Pwede naman eh, parang part-time. Pwede kayo magpaturo, pwede kayo mag-outsource uh, mag for now. And then mm -hmm. you learn the ropes, you learn the tricks, you learn how it is done and yung proper na dapat gawin. And then if you think you can do it, then that's the time. Release mo na yung, yung virtual assistant mo or yung, yung um, outsourced mo na person to do this for you and then do it yourself. Pero kung talagang uh, hindi ka pa masyadong, um, tawag dito, hindi ka masyadong confident sa skills mo, that's what you can do. Pero syempre, may, kala, may kalakit na gastos yun. Although, kakausapin mo lang yung tao na gusto or willing kumulong sa'yo at, at that budget, kung ano lang yung kaya mo ibayad. Yeah. Um, actually, you can, you can contact me naman po if you, you want any advice. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, again, is it advisable to have one digital manager? Yes, it is advisable if you are not very educated, but if you're not educated enough sa um, paghanda ng soft meds nyo. Kasi um, one day na you're not in social media, expect your business to be dead in the next day. Ganun talaga yun. So we have to adapt. Um, yes, you can. Okay, thank you. Okay, next. Um, mabilis lang to, guys. Okay, um, next is how do you sell your business in the new economy? Um, it's not easy, but you can we can do it. Um, number one is to reconnect with those market, your existing market, your existing clients. Nyo. Um, syempre, Doon pa rin tayo sa traditional business side. Traditional business side na um, kuha tayo ng mga clients, gawa tayo ng mga bagong campaign strat. Yun, you, ha you have to have a long-term strategy and a short-term strategy. Um, siguro, um, bibigyan ako ng another slide for that. Pero ano lang to, very, very general, very broad lang yun. Preparing content. Yes. Um, content is very important. Um, sabi ko nga kanina, it's not, it's not enough na you post something. It's not enough you, um, it's not enough to post something. You have to, you have to have a content, good content, and connect. We have, you have to have a connection with your clients. Important yung engagement. Kasi, if, um, 
sa engagement na yun kasi makakuha kayo ng mga leads. Yeah. yeah, gawa kayo ng ibang gimmicks. Gawa kayo ng ibang gimmicks. TED Talk, yeah. Effective yan. Um, blogs, blogs. Next. Um, may explain ko sa inyo yun. Paano ba yan? Okay, the new normal. Okay, next. New normal. Ito na yung new normal po. Sa so, ayaw man natin. Sa gusto. Gago tayo yung marketing gimmicks. Ano ba yung mga marketing gimmicks? So, sabi ko na ata kanina. Sabi ko, gawa kayo ng mga challenge sa um, mga online viewers nyo. Uh, make yourself available online. Na 24-7 kasi baka mag-cringe din naman yung market nyo. Diba? So, um, soft selling lang tayo rather than hard selling. Kasi pag hard selling, ano eh, um, yung hard selling na sinasabi ko, yung nagpo-post na kayo agad ng itineraries nyo, nagpo-post na kayo ng, ng products nyo. Hindi. Ang maganda ang soft selling is like, make them um, um, ask them a question. Dapat engaging. Yung parang makakapag isip sila, masasagot sila kung ano yung gusto nila. Then from there, um, laruin nyo muna, test your market, test the water kung um, nasa na ba sila, anong gusto nila, ano kayang gusto ng market ngayon. Kasi mahirap, mahirap uh, maglabas agad ng presyo, mahirap agad maglabas ng ibebenta natin if hindi natin alam kung meron pa ba tayong um, clients, ba diba? So, yun. Green, proper, professional. Uh -huh. Yes. Hmm. Ba, ba, ba. Yes, uh. Yes, too much posting irritates them. They might unfollow pag sinunod-sunod ang post. Yes, totoo yan. Um, siguro, um, post kayo ng mga relevant um, posts para para hindi naman sila nagkikringe kung araw-araw kayo. Post kayo ng mga um, tips para makaiwas sa COVID, mga ganun. Next is the collaboration. Ito, um, this is the best time to collaborate sa mga online influencers, mga influencers natin, so-called bloggers, vloggers. So, bahala kayo kung anong pwede nyo ibigay sa kanila. Is, is it x deal? Parang, um, um, lose one to gain more. So, ngayon, time na to, pro bono talaga tayo. So, we have to collaborate sa kanila kasi sila yung na, matagal na sa industry, sa online industry eh. So, um, kailangan um, siguro maganda i-approach natin sila kung ano bang pwede, na, pwede nilang gawin sa brand nyo. Is it a blog? Mag-write up sila sa inyo. So, yun. Yun yung mga ways para uh, para ma-retain ma yung name nyo online. Next is creating trend. Yun. Gawa kayo ng ulit lang. Gawa kayo ng mga marketing videos nyo. Gawa kayo ng mga... Um, Ano ba, pag games nyo online, gawa kayo ng mga, um, mga gift check nyo, pero they have to earn it. Mga ganon. Ganong creative um, trend. Next is effective digital advertisements. O, oh, alam nyo na yan. Facebook, Instagram, Google, SEM, SEO. Again, yung digital advertisement, merong paid at saka non-paid. Um, mas maganda kung kung mag hire mag hire kayo or mag outsource kayo ng ng um na person na to appoint na gagawa ng mga mga um campaign strat niyo kasi kung kung kayo kayo lang baka mamaya hindi na hindi hindi kung sasabi ko po kung hindi kayo um ganun ka ka ano ba yan knowledgeable sa sa advertisements or advertising sites. So, mas maganda kung maganda yung uh, eh, kung may marunong. Um, yeah. yung sabi, what is the ideal frequency of posts? Um, the ideal um, pag sa Facebook, siguro per day or per week. Sabi natin per week, three posts, ay hindi, four posts per week pero make it relevant na magi mag, mag meron 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 may one post na pang blog vlog or one post na um nagsasabi na 
stay away from ganito ganyan or one post na um, where do you want to go after this COVID-19? Yung mga ganun, ganun ka-effective um, trend. Okay? Sana may natutunan po kayo. <laughs> Kasi man nasabi na ni Miss Jo kanina lahat eh. So, yun. Next is earn now. Yes, nabasa nyo, earn now. Na tomorrow. The earn now. Um, Siyempre, kung meron kayong okay, ano ba? Asa na kayo? Mention pa po ba kayo? Parang wala akong ano. <laughs> okay. Measure your success. Pareto principle. Sa inyo sinasabi ko po kanina na siguro cost cutting muna tayo. Um, tanggalin natin yung mga um, mga costings natin na hindi naman import importante. Um, ang importante ngayon is to market strategize your or your business model restructure niyo yon um you have you have to have a good um drive yung goal niyo so ayun how do you measure your success pa of course kapag ka meron kayong leads during this pandemic diba kung gagaw kung magagawa kayo ng mga postings ng mga ano trends, make them engaging. Ano yun? Success din yun. Why success? Kasi sino yung mga, ano eh, mga clients na pwede nyo pang itop, retop, and then pwede nyo balik-balikan. And of course, mas maganda kung meron kayo leads, may, may, may ano talaga, may pumasok or conversion. So, um, so yun lang naman, yun lang naman, kasi nasabi ni Ms. Jo na kanina, lahat, ayoko naman pahabain ko po. <laughs> Alam niyo naman mga so advertising. Okay. There are no rules in advertising, to be honest, or marketing. You make the rules. So, you have to be, be creative enough, enough or be crazy enough to do or to make innovative ideas or things. Make it viral. Diba? So, ayun lang naman, guys. Next is, do you have any questions po? Ah, pwede po kayo mag-audio on para mas ay, mas maganda kang ano. Nasabi ko naman po yung tips kanina. Okay. Siguro um tip 1 ko kanina is be re relevant. So, um make use of the time na maging um relevant kayo. Um siguro gawa ka Yun, sabi ko kanina, gawa kayo ng mga post na about sa COVID-19, yung mga patients, yung mga tungkol sa frontliners. Um yeah, hindi naman sa pagiging bandwa, um, bandwagon or bandwagon, pero yun talaga eh, kailangan, kailangan maging relevant ka sa, sa ano nangyayari online. Siguro tip number two is research. Research a lot. Um, study, um, expand your knowledge, expand your learnings, um, try new set of skills, try new things online, research. Then, Tip number three, siguro, um, it's time to connect and reconnect to those clients na lose natin and clients na existing natin and also sa mga competitors natin dati. Um, there's no such thing, uh, there is competition, of course, friendly competition, but of course, you have to accept the fact na mayroon talaga na mas nakakaangat sa atin and we, ha we, we can learn from them. Especially din sa mga failures din nila, we can learn from that, them. We can learn from their success. Ano ba yung, um, pwede nyo i-take note, ano ba, sino ba yung mga brand na, na umiingay ngayon sa this pandemic? Si Ligo, di ba? So, check nyo kung ano yung mga strat niya, kung paano, paano niya ba ginagawa, engaging yung mga post niya. Bakit siya relevant ngayon? Bakit, um, um, bakit, Tinitingnan pa rin siya ng mga tao. Si Airbnb, anong ginagawa ni Airbnb? Siguro um, nakikireconnect siya, nagre-reconnect siya dun sa mga host nila na patuloyin yung mga PUI, sa so mga, um, uh, you're welcome po, yung mga um, PUMs or yung mga frontliners. So yung mga, can you give us an idea? of how much a digital marketing services or monitor is. Um, 
it depends po. It depends po kung ano po yan. Kasi right now, si Out of the Box, ang ginagawa namin is crisis management. Yung mga may clients kami in regard, yung, especially yung mga nababash. So, yun yung mga ginagawa namin. How do we... Um, how do we create a good good impression sa mga clients namin now so sa digital marketing services um kung kung full prod kasi kami po na, um uh, since advertising agency po kami from production post production and i pre production production and post production ginagawa namin so i can give you um range talaga sa digital marketing services. Pero sa manager, mas mura, syempre, pag sa tao, pero limited lang yung, yun lang yung sasabihin ko, limited lang yung resources kapag ta isang tao lang. Pero it depends, ano ba yung, ano ba yung kailangan nyo sa marketing services nyo? Kailangan nyo din ba ng collaterals? Kailangan nyo ba ng boosting lang? Kasi, hindi naman pwedeng post lang tayo ng word, ano yun, ngayon. Eh ngayon, ang tinitignan nila, videos for pictures, blogs, articles, mga testimonies. So, dapat um, alamin nyo din kung ano yung, um, ano ba yung goal nyo online. Diba? So, yun. Um, asa na ba ako kanina? Tip number four na ako. Tip number four is um, siguro um, um, nawala na ako. <laughs> Tip number four. Ano mo sinasabi ko kanina? Um, wait lang. Nalagay ko yan eh. Sorry na. Um, yeah, brand retention. And brand retention. Okay, invest sa mga essential ngayon. Like for example, laptop, um, computer, um, internet connection, invest din kay sa tao sa tao na ano mag magpo-provide ng ano yung long term service niyo invest kayo yeah so niyo po pa generation digital manager. so digital manager um depending sa experience niya pero usually ang sweldo ng isang tao sa digital is 20,000 and up 20 to 30,000 so yeah Kasi kung magaling siya, dapat, pero alam niyo no, yung no, digital. But, but maybe they can do project-based. Project base. Yes, mm -hmm. project-based. Mag-usap lang kayo kung magkano yung isang project to start it up. And then for you to learn kung gusto niyo magpaturo, why not hire them actually? Not hire mm -hmm. a monthly employee. Kasi hindi naman talaga agad full blast or full blown na online ang, ang business. Unless yun talaga yung goal nyo, na gusto nyo talagang maging super digital, ano, um, campaign talaga siya. So, you have to have a manager for that. But, if you just want the basic ones, na maging efficient lang at maging maganda yung social media, um, ang tawag dyan, uh, social media presence nyo, siguro you can do, a, you can hire a project based or a, a per project Per yeah. um outsourcing for that. Mm -mm. Actually, pwede kayo, ano, depende kasi yan sa goals nyo po eh. Ano po bang gusto nyo mangyari online? So, pag may money, pag uh, yung professional naman sa, ano, sa online advertising, tatanungin niya kayo, ano ba yung gusto nyo mangyari? Ano ba kung, kung is it postings lang ba? paid ba yan, boosted ba yan, or not boosted, collaborations ba yan, gusto nyo bang i-post kayo sa um, Manila Bulletin. So, it depends din kung, um, kung ano yung gusto nyo exactly. Okay? So, um, yung full-time naman, yes, you have to make your goal. Um, so, full-time naman, yun yung sabi ko kanina, range niya is 15,000, ay hindi, 20,000 to 30,000. Pero kung agency, depende yan kung ano yung services na um, needs nyo. Pero kung project-based, 10,000. Pero isang project lang yun, 10,000, 15,000, or, or less. Yan, yun po. Kasi kung posting lang naman yan, tapos bubost lang, 
um, siguro less lang yun, mga percentage or commission lang yun kung magkano yung budget nyo doon sa posting nyo. So, depende yan sa mapag-uusapan nyo po. So, any more questions? Mm -hmm. Self-explanatory naman na po kasi yung iba. So, ma mabilis lang naman po. <laughs> Yes, write it down and tell the digital manager your goals, who he or she. Um, you can email me po here if you have any questions. I, yeah, you can email me there or email na lang po. Mi po ako nagira reply sa text. <laughs> okay. Or add me po sa Facebook. Ito po yung name ko. Tami Makalintal. Madali lang po akong hanapin. Okay. <clears throat> ano po ba yung mga struggles nyo so far? Struggles nyo ngayon. Let me know nga. Siya si Tami Makalintal, a.k.a. Rondelin. Ang struggles namin ngayon is cash flow. Okay, cash flow. Okay. Actually, tama naman. Okay, number one si cash flow. Siguro ano, tignan muna natin kung ano ba yung mga expenses, the needs and the wants. Mamaya na yung wants, kailangan natin yung needs. I-set aside muna natin yung mga um, expenses natin na ano, na... Ano yung luxury. So, kailangan ilagay natin yung budget natin, saan ba mas importante, ano ba yung kailangan to keep up. Okay, keeping up with the technology. Yeah. Ever since struggle naman po yan, ah, kahit ako, um, kasi si technology, um, mabilis yan magbago. So, ang maganda nito is available siya online. You can research about it. Type mo lang sa Google, lalabas na yan. Type mo si Facebook Manager, how to post it. Um, yung mga effective ways, lalabas yan lahat. So, I think it's very available. Ang crucial part lang naman sa online is how to use it, use it wisely. Kasi um, the online world can make or break you eh. Everything naman po eh. Pero yun, so be, very, um, be vigilant lang po. Very be careful lang din po sa pagpo-post. Kasi baka mamaya, ayun, think before you click nga, sabi nga nila. Okay. What else po yung struggle nyo regarding sa mga content? Ganun. Baka maka, makatulong po ako. Siguro, gawa kayo ng challenge. <laughs> Among the segment lang, would it be wise to focus on two to manage resources and what are the two top? Okay. Yes, of course, too. If you can, if you cannot manage ev um a lot, siguro um number one is Facebook. Kasi madami talagang gumagamit ng Facebook and Instagram. Kasi travel industry kayo, so you have to post your mga travel pictures. Pero again, kahit kahit um, kahit madami kayong followers, kung hindi naman maganda yung content nyo, hindi rin engaging, wala din yun. Okay? Kasi madali lang naman mag-invite ng likes eh. Madali lang din naman mag-ano eh. Pero ang mahirap is how do we uh, um, connect with them? Engage with your followers, likers, ba? So, mas maganda din, yung, maganda din yung may ma maganda kayong feeds. Ika nga sabi lang, mga digital sabi, mga, um, especially sa mga IG, sa IG, kailangan maganda yung, ano nyo, yung, yung feeds nyo. So, hindi pa din sabag-sabag lang din. Next. Yun, FB and IG, Twitter, hindi naman na masyado, YouTube, tapos kailangan magkaroon din kayo ng website. Kasi yun yung parang online, ano nyo eh, online, what do you call it? Resume. <laughs> Next po, na anymore. Online identity, it's yes. your online address. It's like 
a physical store but online. So it's like your legit office. So that's what website is. Yes. Um, um next tip ko lang is you have to be you have to be uh, what do you call that? Um, available online efficiently and effectively kasi baka mamaya ang hirap pala hanapin ng, ng name nyo, ang hirap pala hanapin ng website nyo, tapos yung website nyo, pag pinrows, ang gulo. So, kailangan ayusin din natin yung identity natin online. ba Kasi, syempre yung mga tao ngayon nasa online, di naman, wala silang pake kung sino ba yung nagtatay. Pero, ang may pake sila kung um, um, paano ba? user friendly ba yung interface nyo yung facebook nyo yung instagram nyo madali pa i-click pag nag-direct ba sila dito anong makukuha nila yung mga ganun po ba so yeah ano pong ulam nyo <laughs> pengi po <laughs> wala sa akong magulang ngayon. Uh, wow, shocks. Ginata ang tulingan. Favorite ko po yan. Yan lang po na. Commercial. <laughs> yan lang po. Magsad na. Ano pa? Oh Papa my gosh. Food. Okra to sa... Papa food panda pa sa'yo. <laughs> yes. What's your ulam? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any more questions, so email me or chat me sa Facebook. Uh, Magandang challenge yun na. Mag-challenge ka sa, sa group mo na. What's your ulam challenge? Mm -hmm. Ayun, pwede kayo mag-post ng gano'n. What's your ulam challenge? Yung mga favorite travel foods nyo. How do you make it? Yung mga ACQ. Um, stories nyo, staycation stories nyo sa bahay nila, di ba? Like, parang ano, make it, ano, parang bang um, baguette style. Tingnan nyo yung, ano yung mga post na mga anak nyo po yung ngayon, kung ano ba yung trending ngayon sa mga, ano, mga, um, ano ba? Millennials. Oh, <laughs> may challenge. Magkano ang bills mo? Challenge. Yeah, mo ganun. Magkana bills mo? Sa bill mo ba saan makakapunta? <laughs> yung magkana yung bill mo pa saan, saan makakarating? Mga ganun. Alam nyo po, yung pagiging create, there's no such thing as original actually. Eh. Lagi lang yan er, ano eh, um, kinakapi. Pero, um, tinitweak lang yan ng mga advertiser. So, ganun lang din yung gagawin nyo sa post nyo. You have to be very creative enough kung ano, ano bang pwede yeah, nyo gawin. That's true. There is no original, original thought. There is no original thought. There is no original idea. Let's not uh, think na meron tayong originality. There isn't. Kasi... Lahat ng thoughts natin, lahat ng ideas natin, nanggagaling yan sa mga nakikita at na, nakakasalamuha natin sa buhay. So, it's never original. So, don't be afraid to tweak it. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself. And don't be afraid to do something na kahit nakita mo lang siya, say, ay, yung gaya lang ako, ganyan, ganyan. So, don't wait for you to have your original idea because it's never gonna happen. Diba? Yes, this is the right time to create new things then eh. And also yung yung best example mm. ng in-upgrade lang ng dati, yung telephone, nagkaroon tayo ng cellphone, 'di ba? Like that lang. So yun, computer metas may laptop na. Yan. Thank you so much Ma'am Joanna and Ma'am Tammy. Very encouraging. Yes. <laughs> Thank you din po for listening. So, again, if you have any questions or you, you want to avail, wow, nag, nagbenta. Siyempre, advertiser po ako. Ito tayo, ganyan tayo. <laughs> ah. oh. All this time, gusto ko lang po pala talaga magbenta. The joke lang. Na, um, I'm here to um, advise you din po on <clears throat> what else you can do, you can learn. So, let me know lang po. Very available naman ako online. Ano pat naging digital marketing ako? <laughs> Kung hindi naman ako online 24-7. So, yan. Um, 
yun, siguro paturo po tayo sa mga bagets natin. Ano mga ano nga yun? Pwede tayong gumawa ng mga ano, TikTok. Ito yung 24-7. Naalala mo kung hanggang ano oras tayo? Oo, <laughs> oh, kami umaabot kami ni Miss Joanna ng 5 a.m. Mga ganun. Ano oras tayo nag-start? Ang tanong. Um, 8, a- 8 p.m. Online lang po yun. Wala pa pong COVID doon. <laughs> Post when will there be a shift to our millennial selling versus family due to fear of that? Yes, there will be. Of course, there will be. Um, po, post-pandemic, will there be a shift to one our ano, to one millennial struggling versus reason why as is that millennials like to do DIY? Oh, oh actually, ang sa kasama po ako dun sa mga nagbabakpaking. <laughs> DIY. Pero, this is the right time to encourage them. Kasi, ano ba ang na, pwede nyo i-provide na hindi na pro-provide ng mga nag-DIY? Security. Yun yung need, need, nila, need ngayon ng mga travelers. Eh. Security saan? Sa health. Security sa protection sa um, ano bang pwede, pwede mangyari sa kanila during those travel. Eh. Yun yung ano, provide them the, the things that um, guarantee. Yeah, guarantee that guarantee the service. Oo. Oh, oh. Make it essential. Yung needs ba yun? You have to create your USP, unique, unique selling proposition or point or um, selling product. Mga ganon. Be unique as much as possible. <clears throat> yes. Oh, oh. Yung mga post na ano picture lang. So tweet. Tweet lang. Tweet nyo lang. Tweet nyo lang yung mga ano. Check nyo kung ano yung mga ginagawa ng mga travel industry ngayon. Um, yun. Pero hindi ko sinasabi na kopyahin nyo. Siyempre, ano tayo kung may copyright tayo. Hindi ko naman po pinapromote yun. Pero um, I encourage you to... Um, Ang shiny ng nose ko. Ay, sorry. I encourage you to uh, learn from them po. Yan lang. Yan. Okay. So, do we still have any questions? <laughs> Wait lang. Copy-paste care- carefully. Wag po ka tayo magka-copy-paste. <laughs> Wag po tayo magka-copy-paste. O yan, Dad. Di ba sa Facebook? Kung Cop- sa yung CTTO. Oh. Yes. Oh. Di ba? Just yes. put a disclaimer that the posting is not yours. That this is reposted from from this ganyan. Parang just um, acknowledge acknowledge the credit credit to the owner. Yes. So, yun, yes. Very important. Para hindi kayo um, makeme ng mga copyright infringement. You just put uh, the disclaimer that it's not yours and you're you're sharing it and you're reposting it. I think that would do the trick. Yes, if if hindi kayo makakita ng ano ng mga tips and yung mga ginagawa ng sa travel industry, pwede kayong tumingin sa mga in- online influencers. Ano ba yung um, mga pinopost nila, 'di ba? Especially dun sa syempre kung sino din yung target ng influencers, yung mga travelers na influencers, malamang sa malamang meron yung mga ideas, yung mga anong outfit niyo ngayon, ano uh, uh, ngayon araw na to. Mga ganun. Sa banyo gusto destination. Maki- gusto mo makita yung outfit ko. <laughs> Di mo ba alam klaus lang to? Di mo alam ko anong nasa iba ba? Ano? There. There. Pakita na outfit. Okay. Charge. Sige po. I quit, Char. <laughs> I quit po. <laughs> okay. So, yun lang naman po. Do you have any questions po? Again? Sana po nag-enjoy kayo. Yeah, let's do one discussion for digital marketing for this in. Um, yan, alam mo na, alam mo na, ihanda mo na lahat. Mm-hmm. So, we'll do one. Tapos, um, Mr. Galaxy, are you still with us? Si Sir Galaxy. Um, we'll uh, let him discuss briefly first and then I will uh, I will give you the outline of the future discussions that we have para at least may idea kung ano yung mga susunod natin pag-uusapan or kung may idea kayo na ano ba yung dapat natin mas unahin pag-usapan. Okay? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Galaxy, are you with us? 
Digital marketing, yes, pwede po ako mag, ano, ma, pwede po tayo ng, um, tawag dito, discussion no, dyan. Kasi, yes, yung digital marketing po kasi medyo technique, techy siya, techy part. So, siguro, ihimay-himayin natin kung Google ba, Facebook. Kasi si Google meron yung SEM, SEO, um, marketing, um, online marketing, online shopping, like that. So, madami, madami. Madaming part na pwede i-discuss, pero i-discuss ko lang yung mga um, effective platforms for the travel industry. Yeah. Effective IG posts, I mean. Yes, pwede. Opo, uh, ano ba? What, ano daw tanong po ni Miss Iblis? Baka pwede mag-quick tutorial on IG. Um, sa IG naman po, what do you mean po ba yung na boosted or not boosted po? Kasi yung boosted sa Facebook manager po yan. Yung not non-boosted, um, punta lang po kayo sa app nyo, tas uh, lagay nyo yung, ay, click nyo yung plus, tas makakapag-post na kayo ng picture, tas lagay nyo na ng caption. Yan. Tas pwede nyo yung ano, i-integrate sa um, Facebook nyo. So, kung ano yung pinapost nyo sa, sa IG nyo, pwede, pwede na yung direct na po sa Facebook page nyo. Ganun po. Pero I say na gawa kayo ng challenge, kahit stories lang. Yun. Tapos, madami mag engage yan. Just to, um, to retain your um, brand identity okay. online. Yan po. Kung effective IG posts, Yun nga, sabi ko, ang gawa challenge. Tapos, kailangan maganda. Maganda. Maganda ka. Maganda ako, Char. <laughs> okay. Later on, we'll do another discussion for that. Para mas mahimay-himay natin yung mga questions niya about it. Thank you so much, Miss Rondalit. Makalintal. Wait lang, sabi make challenges online then ask them to like your page. Oo, then tag, tag yung friends nila and share, ganon. Gawa kayong challenge, tapos kuha kayo ng gift certificate for example para sa hotel or gift certificate na, na, na food. Pesos, mga ganon. peso load, 100 Oo. pesos load. Yun yung mga patok ngayon. Hulaan nyo kung anong ano to. Eh. Maglalive kayo. I promise, effective yun mag-broadcast kayo online. Hi, madaming pwedeng gawin sa digital. So, yan. Mag-TikTok kayo, sayo kayo doon. <laughs> Pero hindi pa konti TikTok, so wala, huwag niyo kasama mag-TikTok <laughs> Ang TikTok ko lang po, workouts. Yan lang po. Hindi po kasi ako, ano, hindi po ako mahiling maganan. So, yan lang po. Yes, pwede po kayo mag-TikTok pala. Magandang platform yan. Anything else po? Thank you so much po for listening. Miss Jo? Yeah, sorry naman. May ketchup. O sige, yan. Thank you so much. Binalik mo na ba sa akin? I will be sharing my screen. Ayan. This is our um, topic outlines. The next five topics. Um, to hindi siya hindi siya uh, wala pa siyang dates pero we will start on Monday again. We will start it on Monday the same time 4 p.m. Um, hindi siya, hindi siya, hindi pa ito yung, yung ano niya, yung pagkakasunod-sunod niya. Pero ito na yung mga topics. So, one is Australia and New Zealand. Yan, pag-uusapan natin ni, ni Turtle Down Under, yung, naalala niya yung system niya na pwede kayong mamili through his system na nandun na lahat. Tapos, nandun na yung, paano kayo mag, um, 
magko-coach, saan kayo titingin, anong i-click nyo, resibo, uh, payments, everything. So, yun, pag-uusapan natin. Um, most likely, May 18 siya. So, pero May 11 tayo mag-start. And then, the sec the, another topic is um, yung sa standard insurance, kung naalala nyo, kasi nahuli siya nun before, hindi niya na-discuss na mabuti sa atin. Pwede na tayo mag-start ngayon na kumita doon sa mga um, st sa standard insurance na mga lines na ino-offer nila for accreditation for travel agents. Okay? And um, another topic is the new normal. So, most likely this would be on the 15th. Pag na-lift na yung uh, ICQ natin, pag-uusapan natin lahat ng guidelines. For now, iniipon ko muna lahat ng mga guidelines na nakikita ko na pinupost ng ating IATF. Okay? And then, we will also have the product update and the details for the FAM trip from United Operators. You remember Sir Jerry? So, baka sila yung mauna. Baka sila yung mauna sa Monday. So, um, this would be Taiwan and China. Okay? And then, meron silang parang pag-games, parang may, may bibigay sila sa mga TAs na a-attend sa discussion na to. Parang meron silang pakulo, may pa-premio sila. Okay? And then, we also have the topic for Travel and Tourism Council of the Philippines. This one is what I wanted to talk to you about. That's why we're doing this community because we want to create a travel and tourism council. Yeah, so I will um, disclose to you, discuss with you all of this in the next um, topics. Okay? So, nandito na yata ulit si Sir Tony. Tony Esteban. Hi, Sir. Good evening. Magandang gabi po. Yes, hello, uh, Joanne. Alam mo, ang ganda-ganda mo. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. I miss you, sir. Yeah. Di ba masyado? I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy to see your uh, activities and helping mm -hmm. our fellow. Sir, sir Tony is from Mooncake Travel. Um, sir, um, can you uh, discuss briefly lang yung background ng Mooncake so that uh, um, other, our affiliates and our um, group will be able to, I know some of them already know you, pero since nandito ka na rin, maybe you want to give a, a, a brief description, brief background about what you do in the industry and what you think we can do as a group. Kasi we've been talking about this even way before the COVID, remember? Kung paano natin mabubuo yung isang um, solid, isang connect, connection with our travel industry, uh, travel professionals, and move move the industry, move the market together. Yes, uh, thank you, Joan. And then, uh, good evening sa mga fellow natin sa industry. Okay, I've been in the business for 16 years. Um, the real name of the company is Mooncake Educational Travel and Tours. But soon it will be Mooncake International Travel and Tours. Uh, in Iceland, now in Latin papers for ano. We are also MIS and DMC. But I'm more particular, especially during this COVID time. Yung mga kasama natin sa industry na talagang apektado tayo. And then, di naman sa, I'd like to give you a negative, ano. But let's brace for the worst na talagang matalang tumabalik sa industry. Okay? But I look forward na ang gagawin nating mga sort of uh, my, my piece of the piece lamang is prepare for the wars and then do something that will benefit and that would attract our customers, mga kliyente natin. How? Ang unang suggestion ko lang dyan ay okay, kinakailangan natin bigyan sila ng assurance na we are taking care of them pag sila ay sumama na sa atin sa ating business. Okay, yung face mask, 
kung pwede pa bigyan nyo na sila ng PPE, ng alcohol, everything. Yun lang yung importante mo na, yung assurance na hindi sila maapektuhan. And of course, brace also yung assurance na what if they decided to to move out? So, ano, ano ang dapat natin gagawin sa mga kliyente natin ito? So, uh, I look forward uh, si Joan, maraming mga friends sa industry, sa local and sa labas, sa international. And then, nagtulungan tayo. And also, uh, for the meantime, wala pa tayong mga travel. Yung Cebu Pacific, just planning for the meantime. I, I guess na nabasa nyo na yung ginawa ng Cebu Pacific. Yung nabasa ni Joan kanina, yung tulong sa mga empleyado natin. We still have two days, March MA8, ang last day. And then, but of course, obviously, maano pa tayo ibang paraan paano tayo mabubuhay. Okay? I do believe in the principle ng mga Chinese. I'm not a Chinese, but naniniwala ako sa principle ng mga Chinese sa doing business. Malilit na kita, pero marami ang pinakakakitaan. Malaki na rin ang, mag ang magiging kikitain mo sa in the long run. Konting tubo. Kasi baka ang gawin natin dyan, pag biglang lumabas ang, ang negosyo natin, and then baka biglang natin bawiin natin agad yung losses natin, which is not the right way. And of course, kinakailangan magtulungan tayo. Tulang ginagawa ni Joan, magtutulungan tayo sa mga industry. And then, meron din ako sa, sa iba-iba natin organizations, sa associations natin. We should never be what we call that, ano, ah, uh, ah, uh, swapang. I mean, what I'm trying to say is, be open. Ako, ever since, hindi ako natatakot sa mga kasama ko sa industry na tumulong o magbigay ng mga points kasi malaki ang industry natin. Malaking malaki. So, never be selfish. Magtulong tayo. I'll cite you an example. Yung mga ibang natin kasama, mga liaison natin, how can we help them? Uh, how can we help them? Diba before, you, if you will recall, sa DFA, accredited tayo para sa mga passporting. Okay? Kumikita rin tayo kahit papando sa passporting. But bottom line, marami tayo natutulong sa mga liaison na kumikita lang sila more or less 200, 500 per person. So, uh, ako, I'm now working on that. And I look forward na sumagot yung taong kinakausap ko to revive yung passporting consultancy natin doon. And then, of course, tulong din natin yung mga malili natin. With that, uh, let's say, Joan, keep up. I really like Thank what you are doing. Lalo kang gandang ganda, ganda mo talaga. Bilog na bilog. I look forward to see you with our your friends sa sa ibang bansa hindi uh, na natin na ituloy ang ating mga naging usapan natin before but I'm happy hindi ka selfish you're not selfish I'm looking forward for the success of Aztecs and sorry late na ako nakaka-attend sa inyo this is the last one no? <laughs> sa ano mo but nevertheless, for the first I, wave, meron na tayong schedule. We start again on Monday. Every other day tayo. So, alam mo, um, sa mga nakakalam, Sir Tony, it's every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But this Friday, we will not have um, a discussion kasi Monday po tayo ulit magsistop. Yeah, really good. So, uh, isa pang, I'd just like to say for the last, ano na lang, is kapit-kapit tayo. We pray our own Almighty God, COVID will be out soon, but it is still a long way. Pero, andyan si Joan, andyan yung the box, andyan kayo lahat, andito ako, we help each other. Kung ano yung ano, tulong na may bibigay natin, for example, yung sa international na B2B, kung kaya natin lumabas by that time, Actually, ako, uh, nag-register na ako for September. Pero I, I'm yes, na-discuss na rin namin. Na-discuss na namin yan dito sa group. 
that I will be giving them the hosted buyer program link at bahala sila mag-effort na mag um apply. Oh, alam niya na this we discussed about that on our last topic on Monday. Okay, that's good. So, if ever matuloy yung sa September, makita kita tayo and mag-usap tayo. Again, I would like to say, let's not be selfish. Sama-sama tayo sa negosyo ito. Okay, Joan, keep up the good work. God bless you. All the best for your family. And sa lahat ng mga sa industry natin, let's raise, let's help each other, and then God bless us. God bless the Philippines. Alam ka ka, walang applause. Walang applause dito. Thank you so much sa um, sa mga guests natin ngayon, sa mga attendees. Um, as as always, I request you to please share this discussion, share this um, platform, share share this channel sa lahat ng mga TA, sa lahat ng mga friends natin kasi we don't know kung ano ang pinagdadaanan nila ngayon. All we can do is to communicate and help in some way. Kung ano lang yung pwede. So, this is an open discussion. This is open for everyone. Everyone who wants to listen and wants to learn, nandito lang tayo. And I'm so grateful and appreciative. Na-appreciate nyo yung efforts ko din for this um, efforts namin ng buong Astrex. And of course, yung mga guests natin, yung mga next speakers sa atin. So, we are so blessed kahit na may ganitong nangyayari. We gain. We gain this new skills. We gain this wisdom and we gain the friendship and the uh, the long term partnership so i'm i'm also happy i'm really glad na ginagawa din natin to and we're open to this so with that meron pa akong ipa-plug a clap clap sal salamat meron akong ipa-plug di ma'am malta ka stop ko na recording kasi uh,